Well, you're <laughs> very butch. Okay, so we are finally here. We have got out of the temporal incursion that we were in, but we might go back because it was quite nice. Welcome. And welcome to another episode of Question of Trek. This week, wait, what happened? Some sort of temporal incursion. We're in the wrong <laughs> week. Oh my God, I'm in the wrong week. Ah, <laughs> oh, you'll get with us. You'll get with the program. Don't worry. Lee I hate temporal and mechanics. Gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, tonight at the Circus Trekkers, we have two amazing gladiatorial teams who will not be making an appearance in tonight's show. Tonight we are instead <laughs> doing Star Trek, the quiz, because this is a question of track. My, uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a question of track? I thought it was Chuck Nerdy. Nope, that's the other Where's John? <laughs> my, Where's John? My good friends John? are here. We have on the blue corner, Captain T. Proud, also known as Captain Dowd, and Brother Jay. And they will be forming a team. We will find out what the team is in a moment. On the other side, in the red corner, we have Conti and Omnicast. Yeah. Also forming a team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here the entire episode. Thank you. Whether we want you to or not. Unf yes. Fortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, you will. Oh, well, that's the case. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't no, stay here. We, we need you. We need you. No, you know no, that. no, no, no. I'll just leave. You're, lying. You're the one who knows how the buttons work. <laughs> buttons? I don't I've know. I, buttons. I, I, I don't push button. buttons. We don't and mean of course, buttons. pressing all of the uh, buttons that aren't buttons but are instead levers and squiddly biddlies and everything else is the inimitable admiral brains and of course we have to say a big hello and thank you for joining us to everyone who's in the chat we have a large range of assorted people don't we we have i'm trying to scroll back up to the top and it won't let me we have captain down mikey susie four we have jay aldridge hello to all of you and do we have any yes james beast is here saying hello you all wonderful people I don't hey, know James. why I've gone into a, a fake Scottish accent for this one, but apparently I am. Uh, oh, you wonderful people. Just stop by to enjoy the atmosphere and have fun. As after the week I've had, it's needed. Well, I hope you enjoy the accent, of course. Hello, John. <laughs> we also have John Where's DeMarco. John? And Omnicast. Why aren't you up here, John? It's jet nerdy time. <laughs> and Quest of Trek is in the chat as well. My goodness, you're everywhere. So oh, yeah. the next one I read out will have to be in a kind of uh, fifth Welsh <laughs> because uh, Norman Price is coming to set all those fires for Fire and Sam. Hello <laughs> to Norman Price. I uh, don't know where he is. Okay. Shall we start with uh, having a look at, <laughs> at the scoreboard before I just people. go completely you insane? You've got Gorillas Random Mist. He said comply, everyone comply. You've got Gorillas Random Mist. Arabic Sonda, Jill and True, Jill and True to you too. Simon Higgins is also in the house. To comply all long time no see, far too busy. We work most weekends for this new mid-afternoon time slot. Well, we're glad to hear. Uh Simon, thank you. And yeah, there's Where probably still it? more to come. No, so, yes, like oh, I must hit like. On that amazing note, shall we? Ask our wonderful score master to hit the lever and show us the scoreboard. Get Brady to do it. I'm trying. I'm trying to pull the le le lever. Oh. Oh. Boy, that was hard. You need to eat more meat. Get some flesh on those bones. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, Conti and Omnicast will be the final frontiers. Wow. <laughs> Captain Dowd and Brother Jay will be the pun far enough. My goodness. Are we ready to question the track? Actually, uh, is it an unknown point? You said final frontiers and not final front ears? No. Nope, I'm not going to play that game because uh, I know where this ends and it's not a good place. <laughs> the uh, final front ears, yes. 
Burn. It sounds the same as the final frontiers. That's just how I speak. I run words together. Didn't you know that? That's how I go. <laughs> I can also do it. Must do there. Yeah. <laughs> must be from the south. <laughs> or the north. I've, I've they never come been from? from the south of anything. <laughs> <laughs> like apart from Scotland. I'm south. I'm southern of Scotland. Their north <laughs> is our south, Jay. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> yep, we're the other way around in the UK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all, all the rich bastards are down in the, down south in our area. <laughs> yeah, but, like, but just like the south in America, they're all inbred. <laughs> wow. Maybe we but they're inbred. I take exception to that. No, I we're not either. talking about Arkansas. Oh. No. Well, as you know, I have the correct number of toes, and they're not webbed. <laughs> I've got ten toes. Yeah, what on each foot? Oh. But are you from the web planet? No, I'm not from North Africa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Krista Duke has just arrived. Hello, Krista Duke. Welcome, hi, Krista. Welcome, Krista. So, um, Simon Higgins has said that he requires a broad Georgie accent for his introduction. Well, the thing is that Simon, if if I got into a Georgie accent, me bugger will know what I'm talking about because it's just that kind of thing, you know. Like, hoya hammer, hoya, here, here. Shall we get into the? Shall we get into the episode? <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Let's end the show here. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Wow, I'll that was good. All right. On. Wow. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was oh, a great right. show. <laughs> we we <laughs> did nice talk week. there. That was very enjoyable. Yes. Wow. Thank you very much. It's good. <laughs> next week, when Professor Brainy Specs will be hosting. All right. No. Oh no. wow. No. <laughs> a question of track. This Have week a good week, with everybody. No questions. Take care. <laughs> We've already been gone five minutes. What's the problem? <laughs> so let's get into round one. Round one has ten questions, each with one answer. If, if the team fails to answer correctly, we will move on to the next question with the next team. The team may raise their shields to get a, the other team to answer, but if that team answers correctly, they get the point. However, if they answer incorrectly, the original team will get the point. Shields may only be raised once by each team. If a team has raised shields, they get the next question. Otherwise, the opposing team will get the next question. Is everybody clear? Just do it clear again one more, time. one more time. Round one has 10 questions, each with one answer. If the team fails to answer correctly, we move on to the next question with the next team. A team may raise shields to get the other team to answer. If they answer cor correctly, they get the point. But if they answer incorrectly, the original team gets the point. Shields may only be raised once by each team. But if a team has raised shields, they get the next question. Otherwise, what about, tra team what about tractor beams and torpedoes? <laughs> Not in the first round. Who invited Will Smith to the party? <laughs> what about oh, sensors? Can we use sensors? Duck, he makes a lap. There are... You're just being a git, aren't you? That's yeah. what you're doing. I, see, I know, you see, I know this is what happened. I remember I when I, I would start going into the rules of the round and people start interrupting, talking over me. Um, yeah, it was always quite annoying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have tasted my own medicine, and this is bitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, medicine is best served cold. So, Apparently. <laughs> John DeMarco. Al Marine. Question one. We will find out who we're starting with, because I can't remember. <laughs> we will begin, begin with uh, Captain Dowd's team, the Pond Far Enough. So... Let's begin. Where is Esri Dax from? Oh, um, okay. So she is Trill, but oh, uh, from a mining uh, planet. Um, not Sephora. A Sephora. No. Was something. They had a funny. Uh, Wouldn't she from a planet of children? Because they're all miners. No. That was oh. bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, um 
she was born uh e- Ezri Tegan, I think. Yeah. On the planet or the world of New Sydney. Oh yes, yes, that's right, New Sydney. And I think yeah, the reason I th- there was another planet, but I think that's the one Miles was on when he was trying to hunt down that lady he found floating down the river or whatever. But anyway, yes. Yeah. New Sydney. Mm. So he was full, he was hunting a floating lady, my goodness. <clears throat> well, she wasn't meant to be floating. No. I don't think. <laughs> so, what's your final answer? New Sydney. New Sydney. New Sydney. Well, let's see. What Next door to the opera the house. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what the opera's at. The opera. Let's see what the score. My God, oh, my In head. You got that. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, there we I go. Do, I do City like the correct answer. answer. Well Wasn't done. New Sydney also a, a place on the moon. That was New Berlin oh. or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. New Berlin was on the moon. Hmm. To be fair, there's probably lots of places called New Something or Other. New Berlin, Lake Armstrong. Lake Armstrong, New Berlin. Okay. Tycho City. Yep. Mm-hmm. Down the road, around the corner, up the hill. What is that? So, Where did I know that from? The play now moves. Ooh, gorillas. She came from a mum's uterus. Wow. Technically, well, we don't know. We've never seen a trill give birth. James Beeson says, down the road, round the corner, up the hill. <laughs> hmm. What's that from? That reminds me of something. Very specific. I don't know. Is that Teletubbies or something? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Teletubbies. Oh. Teletubbies. You, you watched that, Mr. T? Wow. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was, I never allowed my children to watch. One was... SpongeBob SquarePants uh, and tell it to be SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, my no great nephew who got me into watching um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood's uh, Bear uh, spinoff. What, I Daniel Tiger's what Neighborhood or something? Or yeah, was, yeah. yeah, something like that. And Paw Patrol. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not a fan of Paw Patrol, but the uh, poster for the Paw Patrol movie was really well done. It's so eye-catching. It's just the the dogs with the neon outfit. It's like, whoa, that yeah. actually looks like something I want to watch. And then, no, it's Paw Patrol. I don't want to see that. <laughs> well, Next thing you know, their, their mechanical things will be Transformers. Oh, Lord. You cannot beat the Transformers. The robots in disguise. Nope. I'd love season three of Transformers. I like Voltron better. Ultron was okay. Ultron, Ultron was okay, yeah. but Optimus Prime is the best. What was that uh, cartoon with the battle, uh, the aircraft carrier? Um, GI Joe. No. Um, All American hero. Defending America. GI Joe is the there. Uh, Joe. I don't know. It was a Japanese. Uh, it was a Japanese uh, style cartoon. And they have oh, um, a space well, battleship uh, Yamato. Oh, Something like that. Awesome. Was... Yes. Yeah. Star Blazers here in the United States. Our Star Blazers. So now do, 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 on the do, do, retro do, do, show, we're going to move on to question two. Do, 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 <laughs> do, do, upset. So this one's for the final frontiers. Oh, pff, he can be upset <laughs> all he wants. I don't care. Oh, we lost Jay, by the way. Let's see what we got. What percentage chance does the doctor give for Tom Paris suffering a brain hemorrhage under the subspace stress during the test flight in the Emmy Award winning Threshold? So it's a number between one and a hundred, right? Yes. Okay, got it. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's a whole number. <laughs> Great. Oh no, T Dad that we lost. Not Jay. Sorry. See now it's all back to front now. Sorry about that. I touched something. I should. I tried to do a comment on the computer. There it said I could. How many it. times I have you. I told you not to touch things? Well. <sighs> now I can't. Wow. Not just never touch. Okay, so bring up the question again. 
What percentage <laughs> chance does the doctor give for Tom Paris suffering a brain hemorrhage under the subspace stress during the test flight in Threshold? Oh, yeah, that what? Oh, right. Wait. This was just, um, yeah, oh, I remember this scene. Like, this is when Janeway walks into Paris's quarters the night before the flight and says the doctor gave an irregular, uh, found an irregularity in your brain chemistry. Right. And I think it was a sort of like, uh, it was less than 1%. It was like, or 2%, something like that. We found an irregularity in your brain chemistry, and that's why you're a prick. <laughs> like a, I think it's something like two percent or something like that. It's a small it? percentage. I just don't remember the exact one, and that's why I was asking if it was a whole number. It could have been like you have a three point two percent chance of blah 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 blah. You know, like I don't remember the line exactly. The oh god! It was in Janeway's quarters or something, wasn't it? When um. No, Janeway came into Paris's quarters. Even oh, that's in right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Book or something. Yeah. Or it, needless to say, I haven't rewatched this episode as much as others, let's just say. So, but we'll say two, an, so go with yeah. an award winning episode. You should be watching it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching other award winning stuff on Paramount Plus nowadays. Should we go? Should we say uh, 2%? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to defer to you, Mr. Conti, because I don't remember the line exactly. So that sounds reasonable. It's a small number. Mm. Oh, but we'll I'm, I'm worried about a curveball. I'm worried about the point something, something, something. That's what I'm concerned no. about. Well, well, if it's close, if it's close we'll, 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 we generally give the answer anyway. Okay. We'll, the point. Uh, we'll go for 2%. You're going with 2%. Can I remind mm. you, you can raise shields. You can no. raise your shields. We'll save those when we need it. <laughs> okay, we'll go with 2%. The scores on the doors say 2%. Wow. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right. Nice job, Conti. That was good. So, his wait. risk level was like my milk 2%. <laughs> so, play must now, of course, move to the pond far enough. And uh, if we could see the question. No. Uh, I would call it a draw for the rest of the episode. No. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm cream crackered over here. I know the feeling. Question three. Upon far enough. How does Kirk rescue the Enterprise from or the orbit of the dead star in the animated series episode Beyond the Father's Star? How does Kirk rescue the Enterprise? Jay, am I, am I right in thinking this is the one where he got out and pushed? No. And he, he got a couple of the lads to help? It's a distinct possibility. Beyond the final star. I'm trying to remember which episode that is. Thank you, uh, thank you John. Is that the one where, like, Cisco was like thinking he was a journalist, or no, a fiction, a writer of science fiction, or something? Mm. Nobody. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were talking to your uh, teammate. I'm. I'm thinking. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, Cisco. Um, oh. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I don't know. What does it... Um, can, may we see the question again with hint? This is an animated series episode, so it's got nothing to do with uh, Deep Space Nine's Captain Cisco. I know. I was trying to be witty, but... Oh, sorry. Flat. No worries. I, I genuinely we, thought you got confused. need to work on it, on that, Mr. T. <laughs> I'm, still work, I'm, I'm still workshopping it. I'm still workshopping it. Um, to be fair, I would not play poker against Captain Dowd because he's got that deadpan down pat. <laughs> and, I can't, <laughs> and I can't tell. That's just me fair. Didn't, uh, didn't Perk use a slingshot maneuver? To get away from the dead star, he was doing it uh, to trick the entity that had boarded the Enterprise 
to escape the Enterprise because uh, he was making what looked like a suicide run to ram into the Death Star. And when the entity left the Death Star, he used a slingshot maneuver to escape the gravity of the Death Star. Is a slingshot like a catapult? Kind of like. It's like the way they did to go back in in time and the voyage uh, home. Yep. No, I mean the toy. Like, I grew up, co- like the thing that go, put, put, and you'd shoot little pebbles and things that, at the girl you liked or whatever. <laughs> no, a slingshot's um, not like a catapult. Uh, but we do call them a catapult grew, in the UK. Yeah, but I grew up calling it a catapult. Okay, well, well anyway, yeah. sure. A, catapult technically, maneuver. a catapult throws things more like a trebuchet. But a slingshot, uh, it's essentially a horizontal bow with a handle. Point. But we, I grew up calling that a catapult. Maybe I was calling the wrong thing the whole time. Yeah. We all called it a cat. So for some strange reason in the UK, it's a, it, we called the toy a catapult rather than. A oh, slingshot. okay, okay. Because over here, I, I, they don't, they're not familiar with that. Anyway, the I weirdest think thing in our though, generation had a black widow catapult or black widow shank slingshot, didn't they? At some point. Oh, oh Did you my use it? Everyone wanted one of those. Yeah, I have. I have something sort of like that. You can whip conkers at people with it. Yeah, yeah. Conkers are illegal that. now. You can't play conkers anymore in England. Well, don't they just fall off the tree? No, but you're not allowed to put them on shoestrings and play conkers anymore. Illegal. Oh, why not? Oh, just as well I left. Kids get hurt or they lose, and we don't like to have losers in school. They're all losers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, slingshot manoeuvre, um, Madam Gamekeeper. Okay, so you're going with swing, slingshot mover. Mistress, I, I like want to use your you. shields. Yeah, you do have your shields. No, I don't think we need shields right now. Okay, then let's do it. Let's show the answer. They're going with a slingshot maneuver. He flies the Enterprise directly at the Dead Star in order to attempt a slingshot maneuver to escape the star's gravity well. So you are correct. Mm. Yay. Very, very good. But you're all getting these good, answers far too quick. It's very annoying. How I spent minutes on these. Time. Minutes. <laughs> Our fives of fans will be disappointed. <laughs> all right. Next question. We move now to the to the uh, other team, which is. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, Sorry. I thought I'd have a bit longer while I quickly had a, a bite of my lunch. The final front ears. Oh. The this final episode. frontiers. Which species is the Enterprise attempting to make contact with when Kirk and crew are forced to reenact the gunfight at the OK Corral? Oh, this is from oh. Spectre of the Gun, isn't Spectre it? Spectre of the Gun, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't... Um, it was. What the hell was it again? Because they were on the planet for most of the episode. It's just the beginning. Mm. This is when you could definitely tell that the budget was disappearing. Um... Right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we need no stinking budget. Pieces. We have five set pieces and that's all you get. Somehow they still manage to make, make it work. I don't know how. But, uh... And the background. Wasn't it like the, the Melotions or Mal- Malotions or something? I can't... Ugh. Hold on, I'll just, I'll just quickly check Google. Hold on. Hey. Good idea. Why don't you do that? <laughs> That's the way. <clears throat> oh. The Bonanzans. <laughs> the Bonanzians. Jeez. That's clever. All right, take care, Chrissy Duke. Thank you for coming. Uh, I hope you have a good day at work. Take care, take care Krista. Krista. Thanks for coming along. But don't work too Ooh. hard. It's not, it's not good for you. Mm. Right. Stay with us. Pull us That's key. true. Okay, we've got an interesting point from Simon Higgins here. Slingshots fire with a rotary motion, for example, a clay pigeon thrower. Catapults with an overarm throwing motion, for example, trebuchets. And ballistas with a linear throw motion, for example, bows. So technically, your catapult slingshot thing is a ballista. Hmm. That's interesting. Wow. But we the never called them that. We, we Medieval used... weapons history lesson here. Very nice. Yeah. We That's use every term except the right term. Educational and entertaining. One out of two. 
<laughs> Ain't bad. What do you think, Mister Conti? I'm thinking it's like Molotions or Nolotions or something like that. Because Spock was talking about it. Such a long time. Yeah, that's not a. That's another episode I don't. I don't tend to rewatch. It's not. Well, I'll skip over that one. Often. Well, I'll go with your. You you, you skip episodes? Yes, I do skip episodes. I skip entire yeah, series sometimes. Yes. Um, well, well, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, the animated series is terrible. We skip that all together. Um, we can. How raise dare you, too. sir? How dare you? <laughs> Silent man, white. Anyway, we, we uh, can raise shields, but I kind of, you know, I'm, I think no. I'm close, so I don't want to give it away, and then they they take it from us. I don't know. We'll, we'll go with uh, we'll go with uh, Melotions. Okay. Okay. You're going with Melotions. Melotions. Yeah. Okay. Melcotians. Melcotians. Close. Melcotians. I'm gonna need a uh, a decision here. I'm Admiral missing a Brain. consonant. I'm Were missing a consonant. Enough. <laughs> I, you said Melcotians. I, I would. I I would tend to give it to him. Yeah, I'm thinking oh, we should. Of course you would. Oh, Jay, here we go. Rigged. Uh, Rigged. What are you saying, Rigged. Jay? What are you saying? Rigged. Thank you, Jeff. Our no, I knew you were going to, so uh, it's okay. If it was your team, I would not give the point. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> I know. I would give you, you the point. I, I would give you the point. Yeah, That's it was, it was so close. After I slipped you 100, you probably would. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I just remembered that cartoon I was thinking of. It was called uh, Robotech. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh. I remember Robotech. Yeah, that was cool. I could never yeah. get into that one. But wasn't oh, that a video oh, game too? Robotech. Yeah, I could that... do away with the woman singing, but the rest of it, the fighting and everything, that was great. But wasn't Sorry, it like a video said, game there as is, well? So, so, I'm not sure. Sam Higgins yeah. says the K is apparently silent. They have <laughs> the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> no person. <laughs> Melotions, Melkotion, oh, well, yeah. Yes. It's a consonant. There are video games. You say yeah. Melotion, I say Melkotion. <laughs> there you go. That's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right. right. So. So are you going to say something, Captain Dad? No. Oh, oh okay. I was just... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> Were you gonna say something, Captain Dowd? And then Conti pipes up. No, he wasn't. No, he <laughs> was. I, 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 yeah, I'm confused. Um, he was no, I'm just thinking. I'm just T-Dow. thinking. I I would have given that that point also because, you know, it was just one letter out. It was a consonant, and consonants yeah. are more important than vowels. And it wasn't the first consonant. I'm starting to develop a head cannon for the rules around this sort of arbitration. Yep. Fair enough. <laughs> It is a good uh, rule, though, you got there. I, I like that. Just yeah. thinking aloud. Will it be good enough to save you from the next question? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. On far enough, your question, <laughs> if you choose to accept it, <laughs> is, in the original transmitted version of the Next Generation episode, The Neutral Zone, a screen on the Enterprise lists the first six actors to play the Doctor in Doctor Who. Which actor's name is misspelled? What? what? In the original. Tra- on- yep. Yep. Computer display. I thought it was in Q Who, but apparently it's in the neutral zone. So. Yeah. I. When I read the question originally, I thought. It's in Q Who? I, I don't I was, think so. I was sure it was, but okay. I'll go with it. In the original transmitted version. I checked. Oh, I checked. I will accept that. Don't worry. This is not the <laughs> fighting. There's a screen on the Enterprise which lists the first six actors to play the Doctor in Doctor Who. Which actor's name is misspelled? It's Mikey, misspelled. Mikey, please do put potential correct answers in the chat. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Peter Davison. Uh, they spelled it... Um, 
Davison? I think they spelled it Davidson instead of D-A-V-I-S-O-N. Sure, I'll go with that. I don't know the names un un until it gets to the new ones. I don't know the old ones at all. Oh How goodness. dare you, sir? How dare you? So sorry. I thought this was question of Trek, not question of who. <laughs> are we actually going to go back to the magic go back to that's, the episode? That's actually. who knows who. I never noticed that. I was sure. I did. I just didn't understand the question. Uh, I, see, the way I can do it mostly <laughs> is if I read the question instead of hear the question. Hello, uh -oh. Jenny. Uh oh. Hmm. Plucking hands. Hello, darling. Off the chin. <laughs> Hi, Jen. What else can I do? Hello. Huh. Jen is too busy uh, annoying me with a. There you go. There's a wave of the hand. <laughs> so you're going with Peter Davison, are you? Yeah. That's actually the only one I know because he was also in um, Mrs. Bradley Mysteries. And All Creatures Great and Small, if you're in the UK. Also oh, known as that please. show where the vet's got his hand you up know, the that, yeah. Doctor Who isn't the only thing that they um, kind of mentioned or honored. In First Contact, they had in the Battle of Sector 001 had the Millennium Falcon and R2-D2. Yeah. There's, there's all kinds of uh, sci-fi references on the uh, promenade notice board. And people in, say uh, they can hear Kelsey Grammer talking uh, in the scene where Picard asked Data to bring up uh, the, the battle. And yeah. they say Kelsey the Grammer speaks, Shit. but I can't hear him. I can't hear it either, but I've heard multiple people say that. I also, mm -hmm. however, thought that uh, there was a cameo from Dolph Lundgren as one of the Borg because he just said that one of the guys happens to look a lot like a, a Borg version. Uh -huh. Or oh, that close up shot of the Borg, the, the headshot. Yeah. Yeah. But a, walk, walk, yeah. Walk, walk. Apparently, it's not. <laughs> He's a big Trek uh, fan, they said. Is he? Yeah. That's what they say. Wow. I well, asked he, him, well, and he said well, he's no. a chemical engineer, so I would think so. Yeah, he's he's like, like a really uh, nerd. Like in TNG, uh, the writers wanted Robin Williams to play the uh, archaeologist uh, person from the 22nd century, I think. Uh, oh, but they got amazing. the guy who played oh, Max, Max Hedrum. Uh, yeah, Max Hedrum to play it because Robin couldn't make it. That's a shame. Hmm. That would have been great. That would have been it sick. would have been wonderful. And you have to do a That's scene not with the Whoopi only of him time together, they right? tried to get a yeah. famous person, but they couldn't do it. Was uh, Eddie Murphy for uh, the Voyage Home? Hmm. Oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah, Wesley Snipes was almost Geordie LaForge. Yes, that would have been. Yeah, oh, can, can you imagine style. that? <laughs> then he became Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Captain Dowd says he has to go in a few minutes. Uh -oh. I just thought it might hurry things along, that's all. Oh, oh. sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'll so, you, you said Peter Davidson. And yeah. uh, the answer is Peter Davidson. Oh, my God. Yay! <laughs> oh, good. That's the, only one, well that's the only one I know. That's all the one I remember. <laughs> so. Now, uh, now, now, in the remaster for the Blu-rays, they took that out. They changed the screens. Uh, That's so annoying. Did they correct the spelling or they changed it entirely? Like, did they... they changed it entirely. Okay. The, yeah. None of the doctor, the actors that played the right. doctor are listed. Hmm. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What does that do to the morale for the boys overseas? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> what? I heard that. <laughs> that's funny. No, I, this is why I, I love uh, the the group we've got for the show. We say we all bring a different style of humor, and it's great. I love it. <laughs> I missed you guys. I wish away. they would remaster all the Star Trek uh, series, including DS Nine. I would love a remastered DS Nine. That would be so good. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. I, please, I please, 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 please. 
I think the problem is because it was made sort of throughout the mid to late nineties, same as Voyager. It didn't quite yet need that remaster, not yet. So we'll probably it do does. another 10, it, 10 it, oh, it so does. <laughs> I'll settle for an upscale. I'm okay with that. The thing that, that they re they remastered a scene of DS9 in the DS9 uh, documentary. Oh what yeah, that looks so good. That looks good. Yeah, yeah. It looks so good. <laughs> Way yeah, better yeah. than the DVD. Yeah. Yeah. DVD's good. It's better than what you get on streaming. It's less fuzzy, but yeah. It's, yeah, I, I would true. love a, uh, a an upscaled uh, remaster. That'd be so nice. But I can live with upscale because on, on Next Generation they didn't upscale it; they reconstructed the show. I mean, I can live with a really good, sophisticated upscale if it looks yeah. good. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm fine. Either way, I just want and a bit more fidelity. You know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I, I can live with it. I don't have to go back to the film negatives. Just forget all that. Yeah, I can AI live upscale. It. Yeah. <laughs> that I, one can. Can. I can. I <laughs> can. A large pizza, please, with um, double. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we now move to the final frontiers. Tomatoes. Do yeah. mushrooms. Mushrooms and meatballs. Don't forget. Okay. Meatballs on a pizza? Why not? I've, yeah. I've heard of that, but I've not You're seen that. You're definitely from sorry, New York. Sorry, we're in New York. Yeah, we do things differently here, guys. I'm sorry. New York. <laughs> yeah. At least you're not Dude, in Chicago. You need to come down to Louisiana and try our sweep the kitchen. Zoe, you've lost control. I, I have. I <laughs> never had control. I'll tell you one thing. If, if at least New York knows how to make a pizza. We do. Chicago, and you don't put a whole meatball. Hand. You slice no, the meatballs no, to thin no, slices no, and you put them no, on there. That's no, the Chicago no. doesn't make a pizza. No, it no, pours no, tomato no. sauce into a quiche. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> but it's good, though. It's good. You can't knock it, right? It's, 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 I'm good, down to Louisiana. We will show you how to make a daggum pizza. <laughs> Sweet the Kitchen and is the best. Yeah. Oh. And welcome to a question of pizza. A que I'll, <laughs> where do I sign up for that show? <laughs> it's good enough to get. It's good enough for the rest of us. Oh, <laughs> Crawfish is good on a pizza, dude. That's sweet the uh I, uh sweet the swamp. I can get down with that. So the the final frontiers, your question. Finally. We, we will get through the brown one. <laughs> <laughs> In which episode does the NX01 Enterprise first use its phase cannons? Well they have to uh -huh. build them. And it's the one where they almost go home. Um they almost voyage home. They almost voyage home. Uh, <laughs> I think it was Silent Enemy, but I'm not sure. Conti, I need your uh, your help on this one too. Mm, I'm not big. I'm not all that knowledgeable on Enterprise, uh, <gasps> especially not in the first two seasons, at least. <laughs> <laughs> it is non-canon for some, for some, but you know, telling me. for some, for some people, non-canon, um, non-canon nonsense. D damn non cunning I've never sense. heard the Enterprise. <laughs> well, I mean, it's certainly had the play. finale right. of all the shows where Riker and Deanna Troy is that yeah. you know, the whole thing, the holiday program. But I will never forgive them for that. <laughs> uh, I think you might be right. I think it yeah. is to me. It's that that ship that comes out of nowhere, and then they can't seem to get through its shields. They try to uh, go back and to Jupiter Station. See them again in right. any variation of Star Trek. They were cool aliens too. They had those um, yeah. like weird helmet, face mask things, right? I mean, those were. Yeah. We do see them again. They're in Star when? Trek Online. They're called the Alarchi. Oh, oh well, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Um, <laughs> yep. No, the Alarchi were the ones from the TNG episode uh, Schisms, where they abduct people. Those are the Alarchi. Yeah. Oh, the they, clicky they, poppy they're people, they're right? They're the ones yeah. that. Yeah, the okay. Alarchi. I, I'm oh, yeah. not sure about that because uh, Memory Alpha says it's from from this episode. Wow. <laughs> okay. Memory Alpha. Well, I will say Silent Trek, Enemy. That's what I'm Trek thinking. Online, you meet the Alarchi and there's clicky things from uh, the Archies. I don't remember them being the Archers. Our answer is Silent Enemy. Yeah, let's do Silent Enemy. Okay, let's see what you Only did right. it in three minutes. Not bad. There you go. Good. Yay. Well done. I, th I thought it was Silent Witness. <laughs> <laughs> I did love it. Go thinking again, Mr. P. Yeah, I really got to knock that on the head. 
I did love this. Good points uh, for brevity. I think it was uh, Frankie Boyle on uh, Mock the Week. Uh, one of his uh, jokes was, uh, "Dear points of view, I watched Silent, Wit Silent Witness with the sound off, and it didn't make any sense." <laughs> <laughs> French and Saunders do a great stand-up of silence. They call it witless silence. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay there, Professor? Oh, I see you got some vape, vape in your... Okay, I see. Yeah, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's vape, not smoke. It doesn't make you cough. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It makes it... says you. It fills oh, your lungs with some they, viscous fluid. They I say all. that uh, you can get... Uh, um, what's it called? Well, water vapor bubbles in your lungs. Yeah, and if wow. you get the uh, temperature incorrect, you can also burn the insides of your lungs. Yeah, yes. not good. Mm. Love your lungs, Conti. They're it's too good to, to smoke uh, real cigarettes and vape. Yeah. Tobacco. Stick with cigars. Cigars are better. Oh cigars. yes, I love a good cigar. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing wrong well, with a good cigar. Uh, all right. Unless next it's question. Next I like question. the smell. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Next up, we have Pon Far Enough. Oh, question seven of this, uh, of this first round. <laughs> How many episodes place. are in the first season of Star Trek Voyager? Oh, I have my box set just to hand. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, now. Season. Hey, now. You're a rock star. Um, Get your game on. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was one of their shortest uh, seasons because it started in January. And I think, don't get, uh, I hope I'm not wrong. I think it had 16 episodes. Yeah, I would have and said 16 And the last one was The uh, Learning Curve. I love that episode. Way too many, says Mickey Susie Paul. <laughs> Wait, which? No, I liked the first season. It, it was good. The first Sorry, season Zoe, Voyager can you, is... could we see the question again? Sorry, is it TNG oh, no. or Voyager you're talking Voyager. about? Voyager. Voyager. Oh, Voyager. Yeah, Learning Curve. Love Learning Curve. Mm -hmm. The first season of Voyager is the strongest season of Star Trek since the original series. Yes. It's damn mm -hmm. good. I agree with that. What, what, I do, too. What, 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 which and season? I, and I've the said that to people. The first season Voyager. It's, it's the strongest. The best. It's the strongest opening the season problem. since the original series. I agree. I disagree with that. I would say DS9. Season, season DS9 four. Has good episodes, but Voyager's first no, season feels. DS9 really was kind of weak on the first one, and yeah. it got a little better in the second, and then it kind of limped on the third. But when they brought Worf, it changed the game. Mm. DS9 has. I would say a rocky start because it hasn't quite worked out what it wants to be. But mm. Voyager knows from the start what it wants to be. It wants to be next generation lost in space. Mm. I think Voyager would have been great if Riker was captain because Q said, I was betting Riker would get this command. That would have been very interesting. Mm. I did love, though. When Q first turns up, so hello, my name's Q, and then they immediately call the bridge, and Jane says, "Red alert!" <laughs> <laughs> There's coffee in that box. So I'll say uh, sixteen episodes. How about you, Tito? Sure. Yeah, I think I I was thinking thirteen, sixteen, or eighteen, but sixteen sounds good. I think it's sixteen. Could I just remind you? You do have your shields. We don't need this shit. We don't need no stinking shields. Raise them. Let's do it. Let's see what the answer is. Yep. Six, we'll go with 16, 15 if you count Caretaker huh. as, a, as a single right. episode rather than the two-parter. But yes, right. there you go. Correct. I sense Jeff's... For some reason, I always count a two part, uh, the first two-parter oh. as, uh, one, uh, as uh, two episodes. Actually, T, Mr. T, that is how Zoe phrased the answer. That was it not is. me. And you let her? Wow. Hmm. That's gross. Yes, That's because it's accurate. Gross. It's accurate. Sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. Now so now that, I did change I did change some of her questions. So Yes. And uh, oh, I thought there was no of doubt. Course they, of course they did. Yeah, and I agreed <laughs> with the changes, although I still think I still think my uh missing word round was hilarious. <laughs> Even uh -oh. though I had to change it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Anyway, next question. So we've got uh, the final frontiers for question eight. Will it be? <gasps> Where did Garrick work as a gardener? Oh, it was, I think it was uh, at Ro on Rom it was either at Romulan Embassy or on Romulus. I can't remember. Yeah, you're correct. It's Romulus. Uh, at on the Romulus. Cardassian Embassy on, on Romulus. But That's right, yeah. Yes, uh, that is correct. Are you sure it wasn't the Chelsea Flower Show? Because <laughs> <Pretty sure. laughs> this was from the episode where Garrick, um, he, oh, what was it called? It was where Maybe he didn't dive himself the as a rock. They have to take, um, They're taking Odo back because he's melting, right? Yeah, but he right. mentioned it once or twice beyond that as well. But I think that was the one where we, we may have first heard it. Yeah, yeah. I the think he was from uh, in Earth. Sorry? Sorry? He was a gardener on Earth. No, the only gardener on Earth was Boothby at the time. <laughs> only the one. Only he did one. all the gardens. Right. <laughs> Maybe he was always on Bajor. <laughs> but yeah, it was on Romulus at the Cardassian Embassy. Yes. Mr. T, I'm not going to answer that question. Don't worry, I already know the answer. So, uh, we've got a yeah, suggestion from the Mighty Space oh. Chicken that Garrick was a gardener at home base. Which, for those of you who aren't in the UK, is a DIY place that uh, also has a garden center in it. So you can get garden supplies, and that, that's that. Which is, is that why Charlie Dim is that Charlie Dimmick in it? I'd know that name, but I don't know what from. Was that? She was on a TV show, wasn't she? She was a gardener that was famous for never wearing a brassiere. That was it. Yes. <laughs> oh, all that all the dads time. liked her. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that um, Leah, the woman who played Leah Grant was supposed to play some Jane Wins or had a chance to play Jane Wins. So, yeah. you're saying it, the uh, Cardassian Embassy on Romulus? Yes. Yeah. I will remind you, you do have your shields. I don't, don't need them. Need... You don't think you need them? Very good. Let's do this. Ground Force! That was the show. Yes, Ground Force. It was the Cardassian Embassy on Romulus. Brown force, yeah. So. I like John's comment. The one time his cover was more enjoyable than his actual assignment. Yes, John. <laughs> exactly correct. <laughs> Ground force braless wonder, yes. Well, I can't remember her name, but she was always without a bra. Charlie, Charlie Dimmick. Dimmick. That's the one we're on about. That's the lady. Yeah. That's it. That's one way to get people to watch Conti the show. Conti just doesn't listen. What? Doesn't listen. Conti works. What do you do with him? Huh? I'm sorry, but we're just we're just under an hour in, and we're still on the first round. Yeah. So with that message well, and, and with that kick of the backside, we will move on to pon far enough for their last question in this round. I, I think we should go back to question one. I don't want to go back to question one. We've already answered question one. It'd be fun, though. What is the oh. name of Tapol's mother? Tamami. Tamami? Tamami. Tamami. I think it was Talara or to. Um, to lose the track? <laughs> Tallulah. Actually, we I have a Klingon woman on the USS Milton called Tallulah. <laughs> Tallulah. I think it's Teles. Uh, T apostrophe L E S Teles. Okay. Hello. Um, Hello? You're breaking up. Boost your gain. Use a recursive algorithm. I'm here. Um, oh. I'm trying to remember what the actress's name was. Um, Well, we don't need to know oh. that, do we? What was she played in a one of my favorite movies? It's um kind of like a documentary kind of movie about the um the Bisco 
uh, takeover. Oh, Joanna Cassidy played Teles. Yeah. All right. We'll call it Teles. In my parody version, mind version of DS9, I call him not the Cisco, but I call him the Nabisco. The Nabisco. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so you got to like make good things. <laughs> yeah. I just Teles hate all the old. If, if her name's Teles, does that mean that uh, to Paul's father's some more? <laughs> more. To, to more. Is some more. He was I never named, it. really. I don't think he had a name in the show, no. I think she was a test tube baby. I assume he had a name. <laughs> so let's see what your answer is. To less is correct. Despite the fact that we've taken 50 minutes to do this, you guys have actually managed to get all the answers. Wow. So we come now to the final uh, question in this round. It's for yeah. the final front ears. Let's see how, what it is. Play it, baby. Play it, baby. Play it on. How old is McCoy when he visits the Enterprise D in Encounter at Farpoint? Or better known as Farpoint and Encounter. Farpoint and Encounter. That's a better way of putting it. Yeah. Yes. What's so bad about not having by not? <laughs> what's so bad about not having died? That was a good line. <laughs> See the points on your ears, boy. But you sound like a Vulcan. Well, like a Vulcan. <laughs> yeah, he got, he got more and more southern as he got older. <laughs> no, sir. I'm an android. <laughs> Almost as bad. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost as bad. <laughs> it, it's amazing how, when you rewatch uh, Star Trek, the original series, how McCoy defends Spock at every stage, right <laughs> up until the Galileo 7. And after that, he starts nitpicking on Spock. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's almost like that particular uh, thing where we got stuck in that uh, shuttle with Spock shuttle. for a while. He had enough of Spock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get fed up. <laughs> well, at least I, I lived to uh, hear that. Well, that's why I said that Spock and McCoy were like an old were like an old couple. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he'd he he'd sort of like in, insult Spock like it was his wife, and his wife would come out with a what and then Spock would come back with a what with a with a zinger like only a you know a wife would say, but <laughs> Wow. You're green blooded oh, inhuman. I'm gonna say <laughs> I reckon about 128. Mm, close. Close. It was according to Starfleet records, it was 137, from what I remember. 137. Okay, 137. Stop looking at Wikipedia. Wicca, what are you talking about? 137. <laughs> okay. This All right, we'll go with 137. Brain power, sir. Are you sure you want to go for that? And not I know, you, you're great. I am great. You are great. I'm pretty sure we don't want to be cute. I can't win in Jeopardy anymore. Very well. Let's see if 137 was the correct answer. Don't. It is 137 years old. Congratulations. So, but you're right about McCoy's accent. It got As he got older, it got more Southern, right? <laughs> so at this point, we have a tie. The final frontiers have five points. Upon far enough has five points. Will round two be able to break this deadlock? Tune in next time for A Question of Trek. No, not really. Da, da, We're going to continue da, 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 right da, da, now. <laughs> same so, bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> oh my goodness, they completed round one. <laughs> yes. See, we now decide we're going to break up the episodes into parts. And, uh, <laughs> so, thank you for coming. Today, we'll see you all next week. And by next Just week, we mean in a minute. When the show started, an episode only took one hour. Then it got longer and progressively longer. So, yeah. That's because the questions don't matter as much as the banter. We all have a good time. It's nice. I'm glad that we have a chance to think about the question where Jeff Nerdy, the timer is what killed me. Hey, you get more time than they do on the game show. I know, but it's still... I wish we didn't have a timer. 
that way I could think about the question a little longer and see if I could get it right because ever since Whoa. the timer, I can't win. Oh, you've won when we had timers. Hardly. Hardly. No, you ever. you haven't been on much, though. You haven't been on a lot. That's because of my internet connection. I don't know what it what it is with Mikey's channel and Jepnerdy. I keep going out. Hey, she's got a solid snake. Look at that. Pac-Man. Yeah. I love Miss Pac-Man. That was my favorite game. Oh, Miss Pac-Man is a good game. That and Hogan Sally. Hogan Sally. Okay, what's round two? I, I haven't, I haven't seen good. Hogan Sally for a long time. My goodness. Okay, so let's do this. I have to ask one question, Jeff. Yes. Did you uh, in, did you uh, include the uh, phases in the scoreboard? Or, I did. Oh, no. I did. Whee! Yes. Okay. And you can see them right there on the scoreboard right now. Sweetly deedly. Oh, fantastic! So we are going into round two. This round Ooh. has six questions, each with two answers. If the team uh -huh. fails to give both answers, they get a point for the correct answer that they gave, assuming they, of course, gave a correct answer. Then the opposing team gets a chance to earn bonus points by giving the remaining answers. Play will then move to the opposing team. However, in this round, a team may choose to fire phasers. If they do, they steal the question. If what? they do, they steal the question from the opposing team. But if they answer incorrectly... The team the question was stolen from will get the points. The team whose question was stolen will then get the next question. Phases can only be fired once per team. Hmm. Are we ready? What? That's new. Yeah, we, like we did it a few weeks ago. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Last so. time we had tractor <laughs> beams, thanks to Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> did have tractor beams. They were cool as well. They were good. So, let's do this. Can I bring up the scoreboard, uh, okay. score please? Question. Yes. How? Like, at what point are you allowed to invoke phases? I'm going to say before the other team has uh, made a guess. Okay. I think that's uh, that's that's a nice way of doing it. But after reading the question fully. Right? Oh yeah. Like, okay. So let's do this. Well, let's we don't have time to think the answer. Jeez. No, we have. You have time, but they only. If you guys uh, start uh, discussing it, they can't then fire phases. You see. So we have God. to be silent. We can't say anything, and then they can fire phasers. If you don't say anything, they can fire in. Yeah, it, it's basically a trap. We don't this say anything. They fire to, phasers. Uh, this is a way of trying to speed things up. We should probably do it in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't say anything, yeah. they can fire phasers, right? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Here we go. So I believe we're beginning with Pon Far Enough for question one. All right. All right. Why was Beyond the Father's Star not the first animated series episode shown in Los Angeles? And which episode replaced it? Jay, do you know the answer to this question? No. Why was Beyond the Father's Star not the first animated series episode shown in Los Angeles? And which episode replaced it? Oh. Uh, I'm thinking. Um, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid I'm of limited use in these behind the scenes kinds of things. Hmm. I didn't have a subscription to Starlog. <laughs> yeah, I Don't didn't need either. It. Don't need it. Well, what do you need then, oh wise one? The DVD commentary Ooh. for the show. Ooh. It's also on Memory Alpha. I typed in Memory Alpha and I got something very different on my screen. <laughs> you got some gardener. I, 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 believe, I believe you made a little mistake there. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> oh, Gardner not wearing it, a, a I think it's always broken. Wasn't it because of a um, a um, election or something like they they um, they interrupted the thing for a uh, an election thing um, like a city council election or mayor's election? Okay. Like I said, um, I, this is this one's over to you. I'm afraid, as many have been. I'm afraid. Is that your? I'm final trying answer? to think what episode. Mighty Space Chicken wants to fire phasers. <laughs> no thank you. Mm -mm. What to him? Um, he, he wants to answer. <laughs> <Hold on. clears throat> Gordon, you know my email. I'm gonna say yesteryear was the uh, was, the what, what? That was your point. Operators are standing by. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Just just stretching. I'm going to say that yesteryear was sure the premiere episode of the of the series for that region, and it was due to a uh, had to do with something about some kind of mayor or city council uh, election thing. Well, maybe they didn't want it. I think maybe it, because he had been b born on a dead star and they didn't want to, like, insult him. <laughs> um, maybe because it, it violated the equal time law. Because I know we did something like that here in uh, Louisiana in our uh, recent um, governor's race. They um, won a governor, uh, a candidate, was getting too much uh, time, so they they tried to sue the um, the election commission or something because they weren't getting equal time. So, so then I'll they say Stacey, Stacey I'll say it's due to city uh, an election uh, due to equal time law. And the episode replaced it was yesteryear. Let's let's do that. Sure. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Uh, it sure is, Biff. <laughs> wow. Stuff like let's that. See what, let's it might have been a governor's race. Let's see what comes up on the view screen. Ooh. If it's because somebody tripped over the plug, I'll be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> It was and, yesterday. And I would give it okay. to him. Yeah. That, that was pretty close. That was very close. George Takai was running for political office at the time, and you are absolutely right. Because of the amount of uh, time his character oh. Sulu would have been in the episode, they had to switch it out for a different one. Ah, because George Takai. Okay. Yeah. He was running for office, and it would have violated the equal time rules. I if did not know George the K was was running. Wow. Yeah. He was indeed. He was running, running for mayor? Running, 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 running. No, it was run, city run, 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 run. it was city council. I think oh, yeah, city council. city council. I didn't know if it was city council, a uh, mayor or governor. <laughs> no, it was city council. Well oh, okay. well done. I would not have gotten that. And now for our next question. I remember uh, reading that on Wikipedia some years ago, and it just popped in my fron. <laughs> popped in my fron. I like it. <laughs> so we now yes, go to I'll the final now. front ears. To which planet does Laxana Troy summon Diana for an arranged marriage? And whom is she to marry? Okay, the planet uh, I think mm. called Haven. Mm. Yes, and his name is um, Wyatt uh, something. Wyatt up. Miller. <laughs> Wasn't it Miller? 
Damn it! I could have I could have gotten this. Wyatt, I, went, I went to the we'll, refrigerator. We'll just go with Wyatt. Is it the Millers? Right? The Miller family, right? And then I thought it was the time that uh, she was marrying that alien, and Lakshana was um, marrying that alien, and she was going in naked. No, that that wasn't an arranged marriage. That was a marriage by choice. Uh, Diana had an arranged marriage uh, with Miller uh, with the Millers. Oh, yeah, okay. Miller. So we're going to yeah. say we're going to say Haven, Haven and Wyatt Miller. Hmm. Are you sure that's your final answer? We're sure. We should get points sure. for being speedy. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, Lord, it was here. indeed Haven, <laughs> and it was indeed Wyatt Miller. Very Although good. I, I'm sorry, I can't give you points for speed in this. Although I will encourage it. Arriba, arriba, andale, andale, ipa. Which means we now go to pawn far enough for okay. question three. Wow, we're halfway through the... Uh... Whoa, we're Round. halfway there. Whoa. <laughs> when Kirk and crew visit Sarpaidon, who do they meet first, and how far back in time is Spock sent? When when Kirk and crew visit Sapiri, who do they meet first, and far back, how far back in time is Spock? What? <laughs> a bit of a bit of Titan AE there, on it, Bob. I'm trying to remember some period. I loved I loved um, Titan AE. A great film. I've never actually um, seen it. Good film. It's rather good. Uh, oh, is that the uh, is that the episode where uh, Kurt goes into um, the witchcraft era? If it is, then it's Mr. Atos that he met. And Kirk and McCoy are sent back. Oh. This is, um. Simon Higgins says, I get the channel copyright struck by Bon Jovi. If I got anywhere near close enough to get copyright struck, I would be amazed. <laughs> Why, are we halfway there? Or are we living on a prayer? Uh, or a little column A and a little column B? Is that, is that even Bon Jovi, actually? I don't know. It's Bon Jovi, Living yeah. on a prayer is Bon Jovi. I think it's the Atavacron that they use to go back in time. I'm trying to remember. I know it's the planet's ice age, but I don't know what year. Oh, is this the one where like they're pushing carts and things through portals, and it's like a yeah. library? Yeah. Oh. A library. I think they went back what five thousand years in the past, where they met uh, Zarabath. Okay. Um, I'll say five thousand years, and they they uh, met uh, Mister Atos first. Any advance on five thousand years? I've got five thousand, five thousand, five thousand. Gentlemen at the back, five thousand. Yep. Sold, America. Five thousand years. Sold to five thousand years. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> but I didn't have wanna, to. I wanted to do. You want to make that our final answer? I think we did, yes. Okay. So, let's see. So Mr. All right. On the view screen, please. Mr. Atos. And 5,000 yeah. years. 5,000 yards. That's how he says. I, I like it's my answer. It's the paradigm that was uh, <laughs> messing me up. I had to think. You know, that's the one thing I don't like to do. I had to get new tires put on the car the other day, and as I was driving home, I passed a company called Atmos. Nice. Mm. It was very frightening. Atmos. It was very frightening. Oh, oh my wow. god. What? Atmosphere, yes. It's funny, very, uh, very Mr. Atmos's name is A to Z. Yeah. 
you, you, He's a you librarian. didn't. You, you didn't meet well. any. You didn't meet any Santarans, did you? <laughs> well, the lady that was at the help desk was a bit pudgy, but. Oh, 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 oh. Did that pizza arrive yet? Thirty minutes or it's free. <laughs> and I think I think I get two free cokes with it as well. All right. So, Ooh! Wow. Pizza bill. The best. Now pizza. move to the final pizza frontiers yeah. for their next question. Um, uh, when visiting Pajem, besides directing Archer to not have the crew approach anyone that appears to be meditating, what two other things does Topol tell Archer his crew must not do? <laughs> More mm. enterprise questions. Uh, hmm. This is one I had to change. <laughs> yeah, you had to clarify and, and, and it a bit. you felt it necessary to say that on live mm -hmm. television. When we visit Big Jim, besides oh. the Archer not to have the crew approach you want to I'm saying, what two other things does she tell Archer his crew must not do? She says, um, like, um, oh, go ahead, okay, what are you thinking? No, you five go phases. Ahead. Five phases. I mean, five phases. didn't the she say something like they don't of touch five anything? Phases. Bond what? far enough of cold faces. Who started talking? Who started Where talking about it? What you it? didn't start guessing. Oh, Ray Shield. <laughs> <laughs> when, I think that'll do the It doesn't thing. work that way. <laughs> I think nah, it never does, does it? Work. Rigged. It's okay, rigged. Far enough, enough, attempting attempting to, steal. to steal. So now Jay, what do we do? They weren't what do we allowed, do now? They weren't allowed to touch any relics. Mm -hmm. Not shake hands. Is that right? Is it not shake hands? And uh, just, just two things, don't though, touch right? into the rocks. Could have two things. Or, don't, or maybe uh, don't speak unless spoken to. Well, she said, you know, they have a ch they they tend to be loquacious, and I think that was the word she actually used. Um, so yeah, like not to talk to people and not to touch any of the artifacts. Yeah, where's the override? The override. Yeah. <laughs> the and, override. And let's, say, let's say that. Uh, I can't. Don't touch any of the artifacts and don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Fire. <laughs> Is that what you're going with? Yeah. And don't don't burp in anyone's fire. Voice. Fire. Very well. Let's do this. Let's see if you so, are correct. So what was their answers? Their answers were: Do not touch the. <laughs> And don't speak to anyone. Unless you're right. spoken to first. Unless spoken to first. Very well. Yep. There oh, you wow. go. All right. Yeah. Nice <laughs> finish. Good job. Good job. Nice Revenge use of phases. We got to be faster, Conti. We started talking, but we were being polite. We got to just jump into it, I guess. Yeah. All right. I don't know how that phase thing works, cheap. but I'm glad t did. <laughs> so, I'm going to go on. with that, the... Yeah. Uh, the uh, pond far enough gets two extra points, but the next question now goes back to the final frontiers. So what? let's do this. Yep, what? you stole the question. Now they get the next one. So they get more questions. No, no you got, you got. You got their question. question. Yeah, you nicked their question. Yeah, so, but that, the final. Frontiers. You took their question, so it's actually a wash. Oh. But mm. okay. in Star Trek V, the final frontier. Who is the Klingon diplomat for Nimbos 3? And who is the captain of the Bird of Prey pursuing the Enterprise? Oh, shit. Well, that's the Cord. Yeah, Cord. Right, General uh, Cord. And the Klingon captain's name, the one that... Is that what they're looking for? Can you show the yeah. question again, please? Of course you can. Yeah, the Klingon captain. Yep. Who was the Klingon... Okay, and who was the captain of the Bird of Prey pursuing the Enterprise? Oh, okay, so that guy... Uh, Lord, uh, Captain. You mean you don't know? I don't know everything. Well, sir. Hey, don't this do did, that. That's not this nice. did take place in Kirk's dream, so you know <laughs> that's debatable. I that's debatable. I love the movie. Yeah, that's debatable. Oh, I I like the movie too, Jay. Is you just have no, to I understand? You just have to understand what's going on. It's all I, in Kirk's dream. 
I went to the video store uh, the day that it was coming out on v uh, VCR. I was there at six o'clock in the morning and uh, waiting oh until they got the video. Wow. 6 a.m. Were there yeah. a lot of people waiting with you or were you there? Nobody was there. I was going to say, did you slightly <laughs> overestimate the demand? I, was the first one there. I, I agree, John. I agree. The movie is much better when you realize it's a dream. Wasn't it's it not as bad as people say. It's not as, it's not nowhere near as bad as people make out. The thing with Hoo and Scott and Dayton, everybody breaks up now and then, so <laughs> maybe they just uh, broke up and didn't it was Kirk talk Stream. about it anymore. It was Kirk's dream. Oh, was that no, dream? I don't know how um, it's a dream. I think it was Claw, Captain Claw. That sounds about right. I, I, I don't know. But I know it was Cord, General Cord. We know that. Mm. So we at least, at least got the one. You want to guess on the second one? That sounds right to me. Gordo, Claw, Nikto? Claw. and Captain. Uh, Claw. Dr. Claw. Were you Claw. talking about Nick Faldo? I'll get you again. <laughs> next time. I'll get you next time, Kirk. Next <laughs> time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mike's basic has a point. Star Trek 5 would benefit from a full remaster. I think so, too. Really That's would. true. That's true, it would. They should give him a chance to, to fix that movie up. That's a good point. Yeah, they should. Release the Shatner cut. <laughs> the Shatner cut. I, I, yeah. I don't think it would help it. I mean, if they fix the, the visuals, it would help. It, just that. Yeah. Maybe re edit it a little bit, but, you mm -hmm. know, the deck numbers, they can digitally paint those correctly now. If that would, <laughs> if that would help your, your dream theories. Uh, but, yeah, well, uh, that <laughs> helps you realize that it is a dream. <laughs> and I think the deleted scenes make the movie a little better. So, Who guys, I'm going to have to push it. What are your answers? We already had the answers. General Cord and, uh, what? General Cord and Captain Claw. Claw. Let's see if you're right. General Cord. And Captain Claw. Claw. Claw Claw to Nikto. What's that? Okay. The brain grain. <laughs> I love the way he does these things. <laughs> so, next up. <laughs> next up, we have a question. In fact, the final question for this episode, for this uh, round, even. For this episode, wow. For this round, upon far enough. If we could bring it on screen. In the okay. mirror universe, Archer has Phlox torture a member of which species? And what is the reason for the torture? Phases. Oh, it's straight one. in there. Oh. Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Did you finish okay. saying I that? I started question? talking when you hit. Oh, she Lord, did. that's wrong. She did. She did. The final frontiers are attempting to steal. It's all coming down to this, is it now? <laughs> okay, the species, the, it, the species inside the torture chamber was a tholian. Correct. And the reason for the torture was uh, for interrogation. The reason for the torture was interrogation, was it? I don't know. I'm conferring with my uh, <laughs> associate here. Ooh, you should yes, I mean it was. They, they were questioning him um, about something. Uh, the the ship, but they uh, didn't they want to know about the ship or the Defiant? I mean, or the spatial rift? Or I don't know exactly. I don't know if they were just torturing him for the sake of torturing him. I don't even remember now if they were, what they right, were yeah, trying to get from him. I mean, they enjoyed torturing him, but. Um, something about the coordinates, maybe like where are the coordinates or something like. Can we see the question again, please? Never did get to see it very long. In the mirror universe, well, torture, art, has torture. Box, torture member of which species, and what is the reason for the torture? It's okay. definitely uh, 
100%. And the reason was interrogation. They were, they were interrogating him. Oh, is that your final answer? Unless you need us to be more specific. I don't know exactly what they were qu trying to get from the, the guy. It would be nice if he could be more specific. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> but no pressure more, to do so. More specific. No pressure. No pressure. Yes. In the mirror universe, I just thought I should remember which means it was really not sense. You should be careful using they? those phasers. Yeah. <clears throat> they wanted to know. Uh Well, the photos were obviously running the show, and they had slaves, and their slave master was a gorn. <laughs> um, what? For those of you playing along at home on the bingo, the slave master of the species that was on the Defiant, they had a slave what? race on the. What? Jeff, stop. Did doing you actually that. watch the episode? Did you? We're asking yeah. why they. There was why a they were torturing the someone, and they had slave workers. Let's go. Answer. Let's go. Oh. I mean, I think I think I pretty much said it. It was they're looking for the coordinates of information about the the ship, the the defiant. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, and, and it's a Tholian. I mean, I don't know what more specific I can get than that. They they they, they blew up the guy a few questions yeah. in. I, was I just feel like we blew up a few questions in. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was saying, I don't know. We're not ship. talking about the bloody god. <laughs> There's a Tholian. <laughs> Stop oh, giving them answers, Zoe. Okay, let's see what the answers. Are. <laughs> it was a Tholian and the coordinates. Coordinates, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay I said it. That's that's not the first, oh uh, that's not the first species he tortured. It was the um, oh, what is the the species called? They argue all the time. Tellerites. Um, My wife. Tellerite. <laughs> And he was being tortured because he was late, late for his duty for his or <laughs> some other reason. They're always uh, late for something and guilty of something. Hmm. I yes, thought that was the answer, was uh, the Tellerite. That was the first. Yeah, but, but did Archer have flocks do the torture? Yeah, because yeah. I thought that would, I th oh, I thought it, oh, wait. Well, it was, actually, it was actually flocks and reed. Yeah. Oh, you I know. see. Okay. I'm thinking the decon chamber with 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 uh, yeah, Archer and Flox and Hoshi yeah. was translating, right? <clears throat> anyway, there we go. So, good point. So that stunning result was still at a dead <laughs> heat. <laughs> the final yeah. frontier that have uh, eleven and pond far enough have eleven. This is amazing. But now we have a bit of fun. This is the fun round. I like this round because this is round three, the infamous pixelated Rikers round. Oh, there are God. four questions uh, in the form of there are four lights. <laughs> there are four. <laughs> there are four lights. Four images in round three. Yes. Not two, not one. Three, four. <laughs> Okay. Each team needs to tell me what the person, item, or ship in the image is. If they cannot answer, we move on to the next image. <laughs> they required the location of the rebel base and the Death Star plans. <laughs> 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 they were torturing a Shatnerian for a late return sure. of library books. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, James so is a clever, clever fellow. for the okay. first image, we ask Pon Far Enough, who oh. or what is this? Oh, I shot at the thing. There's oh. the Enterprise C. Coming out of the, the rift. Wow. Yes. That's a I, quick answer. I agree. I think Probably Rachel was driving. We are screwed, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I know it's coming. <laughs> I know it's coming. It's a good thing that I have glasses. It's a good thing I don't. Hmm. So, you're saying it's the, the Enterprise, Enterprise C. C. Enterprise C. 
seized the Ambassador class starship Enterprise under the ca- command of Captain Rachel Garrett. Star- Who later on became across the universe. That's a see. red lady is that yeah. coming through a yeah. temporal rift. In the BAFTA award winning episode yesterday. Yesterday's there Enterprise. There you go. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> I yes, love that one. I don't like the, the newer one. Correct, Amundo. So, the final frontiers. Do you think you can match that? <laughs> oh, we should try. Yes. <laughs> uh, you, you, may, you may be surprised. Let's so. see what's on screen. Oh, that's oh. easy. <laughs> That's freaking easy. Wait, wait, wait. This could be Thomas Riker. Don't I, I was thinking that, but no, it looks like first contact Riker on the Phoenix, but I'm not sure. Mm, there was Phoenix. another episode where Riker was in the blue outfit. That's and true. That's true. He was in civilian clothes. It was Menage or Troy. Troy. I mean, he's worn that blue shirt a few times, but either way, we. I mean, it's, it's not Thomas Riker, right? This is William T. Okay, we'll, we'll go with Will, Will Riker. Yeah. In his in his gym jams. In his gym jams, right. Okay, let's see if you're correct. Phoenix. Hey, yep. look at that. Oh, it actually while. was Riker. Well, if he's William T. Riker, then his twin is Thomas W. Riker. <laughs> Thomas Thomas. No, it's just Thomas Riker. He, Thomas he Thomas, yes. Name. Very good, Omni. Yeah, good, good job, guys. Well done. Well, let's see now if Pond. Zoe, you off. have redeemed yourself. Hey, <laughs> it's been a long I time still, since we had a pixelated Riker. I have to pull one in. I still say that uh, that uh, this one was Jonathan Frakes. This is great. <laughs> I say that Jonathan Frakes is a good director, and he did the best he could. With the second movie he directed, because that was a lousy script. Mm. Which well, one? Thunderbirds. The next one is <laughs> direction. I love oh, no. direction. Is a terrible script. The Discovery episodes that he directs. It has Discovery problems. Mm-hmm. And my boobs firmed up as I watched it. Not that no. we care about such things. God. No. Right. Not that we care about such things. <laughs> Come far enough, can you bring it on, baby? Bring it on. Lead at this next one. That is that from Cochran. And oh, um, companion or whatever. I can't remember the episode, but uh, his um, he's the young uh, Zeph from Cochran yeah. on the planet with the uh, companion. Yes. I sure? can't remember the actor's name. He played in Dallas a lot. We don't need to know that. Zephraim Cochran, please. Who is Zephraim <laughs> Cochran? I, I you sh- frame. Are you sure that it's not... Trying to frame um, him? It's young Zephraim yeah. Cochran. Oh, wait a minute. Could it be yeah, the it's... guy... Could it be the guy um, in uh, All Our Yesteryears or whatever... Uh, the doctor who helps the the um, Captain Kirk's girlfriend. She has mental problem and she switches bodies with Kirk. Is that the uh, dude? Now let's just go with Zephyrin Cochran. Mr. T. Zephyrin Cochran, please. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Yay! He kind of looked up like that other guy. I have to admit, I thought you were about to talk yourself out for a few points there. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. I did too. No, I was I was going to stay the course. Fair enough. Well, in that case, we have one final question in this round. So, phases. There are no phases in this round. I'm so sorry. Oh, but... But Charlie can X. the final but we do frontiers? Have quantum torpedoes. Can the final frontiers stay the course? Right Let's find can. out on screen. After these messages. 
The answer to these messages will be read. Um, okay. okay, this is an NX class warp five starship. Is it? Excelsior? Uh, it looks like an NX class. It looks like the Enterprise or something like it. Um, it could be the Columbia. It could, could be, be the cool. Columbia. Intrepid. So the, the thing was, it was stuck here. Is it the Columbia or is it the Enterprise? And it's hard to tell. There is a difference. The coloring is slightly different on the hull. I know that. Yeah. Between that the two. A message and the right, right, is just like, right back. Well, but. <laughs> Yeah. Is it the Columbia or is it the Enterprise? I mean, they've been relatively easy this morning, right? So, almost looks like Earth in the background. But, I mean, we could just say the Enterprise, but maybe they are going to throw a trick in at the end, right? I don't know. See, if we just say an NX class starship, we're safer. And it's not wrong. <laughs> While they're discussing this, if you want to have a guess of your own, call one nine hundred one seven zero one track chat. Where oh, our baby. Wait, can lovely, I call now? Hang lovely on. assistants will be ready to take your call, and they're all really, really happy to talk about Star Trek. That's one nine hundred one seven zero one track chat. Call now. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, you want to talk about Star Trek? Are you looking for fun with naked Ferengi females? Then call this number. Uh, it didn't work. I tried to call. All right. Orion? Orion Slave Girl? Only six bars of latinum per minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you want to just say the Enterprise? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty. It's, yeah, you know, let's just. They've reused the, the shot a thousand times. It's, it's the Enterprise, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll go with the Enterprise. Then. Yeah. You're saying the Enterprise. No bloody A, B, C, or D. The NX or E or F and D or J. Right. We're going to see this image pixelated. What it is. Oh, come on. Rigged! I told oh, you, oh, rigged. That's Rigor baloney. Mortis. How could you? Rigor mortis. How rigged. could you tell the difference? There's no. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> the deflected dish is different, but you can't tell it when it's pixelated. How is it? Um, oh, yeah, it's a little larger, I guess, right? Yeah. But it's still rigged. But okay. <laughs> of course it is. is. Oh, Rigor mortis. Long. And you wow. know, if we hadn't, if we hadn't done phases, we, this would have been our question. Yeah. Or no, no, that's not right because then they pulled phases too. Yeah. yeah so no, we back to reset everything. Oh well, that was a oh. lucky escape. Wow, though. that was tricky. All right, all right. It's cool. I had to throw a curveball in. I'm sorry. I no, no, to... no, no. It's good. It's good. You, you got the pixelated Riker. I had. To that's put true. A that, that, in. That's very true. Yeah, that's you very did. True. Very true. You did. And it wasn't Thomas Riker. Just so. when you redeemed yourself. <laughs> 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 Wait till next week. Wait till next week. Oh god. Can I just uh, announce that this is my final episode? No, it's not. This is my You're final episode life. as well. Thank you <laughs> so much for everyone that has joined us all these episodes. We love you, but it's time to go. Conti and I will be taking applications at the end of this episode, so stay tuned where you can write in with a self-addressed stamped envelope. Yes, yeah. or you can call one nine hundred one seven zero one track chat. As long as you are an eighteen-year-old blonde, if they get it or not, you're on the show. <laughs> you must so, also look Star Trek. Did they get no, that the answer optional. right? <laughs> no, no, they cheated. They said it was the Columbia. No. The Columbia. I didn't cheat. It, it, no, was. Was. it was. I thought you said Columbia. Columbia. It even it 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 even had. Columbia on the hall. If I had said well, it was the Enterprise, you'd have lost that Well, Isn't that's the point. Columbia you have to figure it out. out. How can you figure it out when you can pixelate the NX Enterprise and put it, in, put it next to it? You won't be able to tell the difference. You could pixelate the Yamato next to the Enterprise D. It's the same thing, right? It's like, okay, yeah, it's... Oh, you're yeah. not wrong, Simon. Um, yeah, and to be, and to be fair or, or uh, an incredible simulation thereof, you did admit for the possibility that it could be the Columbia. Yes. And, and, and then you, you did. You did. You you did. We didn't that go that way. No. In the, in the, in the, in the, I, I, I suspected a curveball coming, but we, we took the safer route. 
right? Yeah. So, yeah. so psychology round, let you down in the end. The final frontiers have 14 points, but upon far enough have managed to slip into for, forward and gear and oh. get ahead with 17 points. Oh, God. Yeah. It's still all to play for, though, as we move into round yeah, four. Yeah. Now, round four has four questions in this round in the form of garbled audio clips. Each team needs to tell me oh, the name one. of the person who's speaking plus the film oh. or episode that the clip comes from. If they can't oh, answer no. both, then they'll get a point for any part they have answered correctly. Yes. Then the opposing team gets a chance to earn bonus points by providing the answers that the original team wasn't able to give. God, he's doing his talent contest over there. So they get a chance to answer the one that we didn't get. Yep. They do. Okay. It's they a nice way to earn some bonus points. They so, get on that, Jovis. Oh, but Katie. <laughs> the sloppy seconds, I know. <laughs> so, let's go straight in. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that too much? You crossed the line. So we get into it. I think you crossed the line, Mr. T. I, I didn't cross the line. You <laughs> crossed the line. The whole system crossed the line. <laughs> he had Con some good cereal, Mr. T. Con far enough. Are you ready for your I first question? Yeah. Cereal? I didn't hear that. Yes. <clears throat> Let's do it. On main viewer. That's Tash. Receiving audio only. Open frequency. Off the light. I'm fed up about this creature. She's definitely got to purpose my being. I can't understand what it says. Yeah, yeah I hear background hear? noise. I think someone. Yeah, somebody's got background noise. Oh, sorry, my Siri started talking by accident. One of you said something. Let me play it one more time. Please. I know about this creature. She's diverting us from the purpose of my being here. Can't even hear it. Well, it's their question anyway, right? Yeah. I know about this creature. She's diverting us from the purpose of my being here. Something about this creature. She's diverting my purpose for being here. Oh! Is there phases in this round? No. Ah. Did you play it again? I know who it is. Right. What are you thinking, Conti, over there? Oh, well, I'm not going <laughs> to tell you. But I know who it is. It's one of, one of, my, one of my favorite episodes. Oh, so it's got to have a naked lady in it then. All right, let's have a go. <laughs> wow. Can you play it again? Everybody be quiet. Oh, I think I know. Bring now. up the board. Bring up the board. I know about this creature. She's diverting us from the purpose of my being here. Oh, it's uh, Q said it, and it was um. Q was it Q who? Where they the episode where the he flings them to the Borg. Well, because Conti did that thing that got um, him. I was shocked. Right. He says it um, You're frozen to in Picard calm. about um, Gaina. Q who and and um, and Q is talking to Picard about. Gaina. So we have to know who's... Yeah, so we just know, yeah. need to know two things. So Q and Q who is the episode. Okay, yeah. Sounds so you right. with Q and Q who. Yeah. Yeah, who? and it's not a knock-knock joke. It's an episode. Let's see if you're not Not Q who. <laughs> Conti. Oh, it's broken. It's not working. Uh huh. Sure, the bloody thing. Uh huh. State your business. Get on with it. She's diverting us from the purpose of my being. Yep. You got it right. Yahoo, Salem. Congratulations. Look at that. I was going to be really hard now. Oh, don't huh. worry about it. The final frontiers. <laughs> You want to harden me? Go on then. Let's see what you can do. 
Sir, we're being hailed. Audio only. Who is it? I can't tell. I can't tell. Put him through. Yes, but our computer is too slow to direct the repairs. The parameters are changing too quickly for it to keep up. Hmm? Yeah, I think they're getting the slightly camp. too distorted. Yeah, that's alright. Yes, but our computer is too slow to direct the repairs. The parameters are changing too quickly for it to keep up. Oh, I got it. I got it. I know it. I didn't catch the whole oh. oh, The computer is too slow to direct repairs, and then I couldn't hear the last bit. The reactor's heating up, or something like that. Yeah. Okay, you've got it. This is, is it? uh, this is the nth degree Reg Barkley. Okay. That's the one where he made a pass at me. A good one. A good one. Yeah. Are you sure? Well, it, it's the name and oh, let me get this straight. It's the person saying it in the episode, right? So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Are you yes. sure of the episode and the person? That's the nth yeah. degree, Lieutenant Reginald Barkley. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Broccoli. Okay. Broccoli. I'll go, go on then. Let's see if you're right. Broccoli. Yes. But our computer is too slow to direct the repairs. The parameters are changing too quickly for it to keep up. Hmm. There you go. Good episode. <laughs> Very good episode. <laughs> yeah. I like the way Every I'm episode of Barkley is playing. good. Good actor. And well, you said it was going to be hard. Dwight Schultz is a good actor as well. Yep. I like. The, mm -hmm. I have to say, I do like the way that the Romulan bird of prey went behind the video, but in front of the text. That was nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it look easy. Yeah. So. After that stunning answer, we are still <laughs> finding that the final frontiers are behind by three points. But can they uh, manage to pip the, the other if team? I can the hear answer? It. So let's see. Pon far enough, here is your second garbled audio. Captain, I'm getting something on the distress channel. On speakers. What? <laughs> That's fair. I think I think we're meeting our Columbia now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Could you uh, play it again? Put it through a narrow band filter. <laughs> You're done. I can't That's understand it. what it's saying at the end. You're over. It's done. Did you hear any of that, Jay? I can't make any of that. <laughs> Did you hear any of that? <laughs> Play it again, I, please. I, I, no. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. Did you hear any of that? No. <laughs> you didn't hear it? Well, I mean, did you make any? Barely. Barely. Twenty-five starships against one Borg Actually, it's cube. Forty. Forty starships against Federation. one Borg cube. Forty Federation starships. Thirty-nine were destroyed and against one Borg cube. Forty Federation starships. Against one Borg cube. 125,600. Um, didn't they have 40 starships in uh, Wolf 359? If so, 40 stars, 40 Federation starships. Was it Admiral, um, the Admiral? Um, mm 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 mm. Admiral, Admiral, and Admiral, Admiral. from Starfleet. Good morning, Admiral. how are you? Oh, good afternoon, I should say. Yeah. These kids are late risers these days. Um, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you are. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is, I've just made it up. Good evening. Oh, wow. That is a good... We've got to get you voicing a vampire in one of our cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do not drink. Oh, Admiral Hanson? <laughs> yeah. 
that was the one that was linked with Admiral uh, uh, Shelby, uh, Commander Shelby, right? Um, so Admiral Hansen and the episode. Best of Both Worlds, Part One, or Part Two? I think it's Part Two. Because he he promotes Riker to captain after talking about uh, uh, how many ships they had. If they get it wrong, can we try and answer it? Yes, you do get a chance if they That's are cool. incorrect. I'm going to say it was Admiral Hansen and the best of both worlds, part two. Um, could we hear it one more time and may we have a hint? I still can't make the word. He pauses. 40 Federation starships against one Borg cube. He That's what it says. The person pauses. That, um, that is what it says. Wow. We may need transcripts. <laughs> this is so rough. Um, well, you, you got the transcript. <laughs> We do? Yeah, I, I just told you. <laughs> but can you be trusted? Did I mention this is my yeah, final episode of A Question of Trick? Well, well I, they the can't trust us, me. I've been hearing it's people really calling easy. names behind really your back. Easy. Come on, guys. Rigor Morris was one I'm of them. Thinking, um, on, let's, I think. Let's do that. Rigor. I think um but are, are we sure it's the admiral though? I don't know. Are, are you certain? Cuz it might be Shelby actually. Yeah. Or it may be Data. Or Rika. Or, or Troy. Or Troy. Or it could be Davros. It's not Never shouting heard. enough it would be 40 Federation starships against one Borg cube. <laughs> you know Davros is like that. He, he Yeah, but, but you, alt you, you altered it, so, you know, it doesn't sound like him. Oh, true. Mr. Mott, That's yeah. True. That's a thought. Mr. I did Mott. alter it. Yeah. Um, it sounds a bit yeah. different. Well, if you're sure, you're sure. Well, you thought, uh, are you, how, how confident are you about Admiral Hansen? I think it was Admiral Hansen. I, I um, think he's a pretty competent I, officer. I said incontinent. An Gonna have to push you for an answer, guys. Uh, Admiral Hansen, best of both worlds, part two, I guess. Okay, well, let's see well, how, how they did. Okay, uh, so. Actually, yeah. we want to have a try and answer it. Okay. Bring, up, bring up, bring up the board. Yeah. Okay. We believe none of them are right. Neither of them are right. Yeah. Oh right. no. So I think. What do you go ahead, Kathy? What do you think? It's Captain Shaw of the Titan. The episode I think is either Dominion or Surrender. I'm not sure. I'll agree with you. It's New Trek. Uh, it could be Captain Shaw. It sounds like a female to me, but then again, it could be distorted mm -hmm. so much. Where it, it's so in the bar. got a blissful grin on her face. It, it, it's it's in the bar. Uh, Picard is behind. They're the always bar. in the bar in New Trek. They're always drinking something, snorting something, smoking well, something. No, no, yeah. Picard, 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 Picard is behind the Picard is behind the bar serving his Paramount Plus. Yes, and subscribe now. now. Smash series. Thirty day free trial. Free oh, trial. God. <laughs> <laughs> right, then. The car is about to buy, send a send a drink, Captain Shaw walks in, and you think, oh, that's a really cute story. Has your father told you about Battle of Wolf 359? Uh, and that's where he starts swimming about 40 ships and one ball cube. Um, I'm going to say it's the episode Dominion. Captain Shaw and the episode is Dominion. Is that your Sounds good to answer? me, Captain. Yeah. I'm sorry, we lost. Here we go. Let's see if they're right. Could be a female, but let's see. Forty Federation stars. Ah. It's one. 
Oh, oh no, it's not. So you got one point. Oh. All right. Yeah. Do we do we right. get the other one bounced back to us? No. No. Oh. Well. Flexible rule application. Yeah. I'm sorry. So it's okay. You, might, you managed to get that little close bit the gap. Yeah, yeah, close yeah. the gap close a bit. Gap. Hey, but no. well, this is the, end the, of the final show? question now for this round. So, the final frontiers. Who's this and what's it from? Who's on the phone? Yes, We're receiving audio only. That's all I can do. Screw me. Captain. It's supposed to be the problem to call me. What's supposed to happen? What the fart are you I'll need that again. Yeah. Hey, play that again, please. That's all I can do. Screw me. Captain. It's supposed to be the problem to call me. What's supposed to happen? What the? It's actually the second question. Is that yeah, Daniel? Yeah, this one's better than <laughs> we initially had. Is that Daniel's? Maybe. Go ahead. I think it's right here. Kodo Ro Show. It sounds yeah, like I'm one sorry. of those uh, those aliens that took over Stargate SD One. The go out. <laughs> I think it's those rhinoceros people from Doctor Who. The judge mm. can play it again. I'll need it again. Yeah, if we can play it again. Co Romo for the Captain. And it's supposed to be the problem to me. What's it supposed to happen? All I can hear is Star Date and Captain. It's Enterprise. It's Enterprise. It's either the Sulaban or or uh Future Man. And what was that enterprise? What was that episode called again? Was it Shockwave? No, what was it called? Um, Shockwave. It was Shockwave, right? It was where they where they, they emitted something on the planet and it blew and there was an explosion. Yes. Um, right. They brought the glue something up. But the question is, okay. who, who said it though? Is it Daniels, Future Man, or Silic? That's I, 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 it's one of the three, but I don't know who. It's not Silic, because he, he Silic retrieved the captain, but he didn't have he didn't have any information. He just said, "Look, you have to talk to this guy over here." So say Daniels, go with Daniels. It's either Daniels or Future Man. I don't think he met Future Man. No, because Silic Silic got him. Silic kidnapped. Oh, but that was Shockwave Part Two. But either way, it could have been in Shockwave Part Two, right? I mean, I I didn't know Yosef was in this. Yosef. <laughs> Can future you play man. Future Man. <laughs> well, did he have a name? I'm playing both <laughs> Yeah. That's all I can do. Screw it. Captain. An explosion at the problem to call me. What's it supposed to happen? What the fart of guard? I, I think it's Future Man, but it could be Daniels. Uh, it's either one of the two. I need your help on that one, Connie, because I. Did Future Man actually have a name, though? He didn't, did he? No. He was called Future Guy. Wasn't he? Kevin. Kevin, I think. Well, the fans called him Future Guy. I don't think he was ever given a name or the designation, right, Tito? Right. I thought he was okay. called Dirty Frank. Okay, we'll go with that then. Uh, future Guy and uh, Shockwave. And Shockwave. But, friend, I think his friends but do you think Kevin. it's... You, you sure uh, it's him? Because oh, it could be Daniels, though. It could, I, I don't... Oh, I'll, I'll, well, uh, I, I need your help to reason it out because I don't, I don't want to rush into the answer. But I think well, the thing is, it could fit either one of them. We've got a fifty-fifty chance. Uh... I am going to have to push you guys. I did push the other team. Oh my god! Yeah, and it left them all. <laughs> 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 we, we've got, we've earned got, some what, time. What, the other questions we answered right, fast. <laughs> right, right, we've got no. We've got one point in the bag with shockwave. Right, it's definitely shockwave. All right. And it is the last question of the round. So either way, we still we still win. So uh, we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll just go with Daniels because at least there's a name, yeah. all right? We'll see you next time. So that's your final answer? Yeah, <laughs> Daniel. Uh, 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 go on, go on. No, because I, I remember Archer yelling at Daniel saying, I got more help from the Sulaban than I ever got from you or something. I, I don't know. Eh. 
You're the captain. Go for Future it. Future guy and shockwave. There we go. Future guy. Is that your final answer? That's the final answer. Let's go. Okay. So you've got one right. Ah! It is shockwave ah. part one. So now, pon far enough, who said it? We got to hear it again. Can we have the quote and have a uh, uh, a clue? <laughs> I can't understand one word he's saying. I I hear before it ha before it happens or something. Okay, so the quote is, "It's already been screwed with, Captain. That explosion at the Paragon colon Colony. It wasn't supposed oh, to happen." I didn't even hear that. Oh, that was Daniels in uh, his um, past in his quarters. I'll say Daniels. Can I share in that response, Brother Jay? Or yeah, okay. I want to know what you think. Yeah, we'll we'll say Brother Daniels or Crewman Daniels. Yeah, you're going with Daniels. Is that your final answer? Yeah. No. Yeah. Let's find out. It's already been ah. with Captain. That explosion at the. Project. I should ask for the transcript. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize we could do that. Yeah, well, I should have should have thought of that. I didn't know I didn't know we could do it either. Well, so. I read read the quote for another one, so Yeah. That is true. So at the end of the round, both of you got a point from that question. So mm -hmm. we have the final frontier is on eighteen, but pon far enough on twenty. It is closing, which means it's anyone's game. Because in this final round, we mm -hmm. have the fill in the blanks round. There are six oh questions God. here, oh. each with three answers. <laughs> Teams must tell me the missing word from each phrase, the person who said it, and which film or episode it is from. If the team cannot answer all three parts of the question, the opposing team will get a chance to earn bonus points by providing the missing answers. But in this round, a team may choose to fire torpedoes. If they do, they steal the question from the opposing team. Now, how do how do they steal it? Um, like they did the last time. Yeah, yep. this has got to be Same before way. a guess. You you can't fire after a guess. If the team answers when firing torpedoes incorrectly, the team that the question was stolen from gets all three points. The team whose question was stolen will then get the next question. Torpedoes can only be fired once per round. Okay, we feel we feel the blank and tell you the episode and who the, said it. The blank. And who said the, it. Yep, the missing word, the person who said it, and the episode it's from. Crap. You, okay. Or or a movie. Three, yeah. This is three, where we lose. <laughs> oh, can they God. only fire torpedoes once? Only yes. once per team. Once per okay. team. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Pon far enough. Okay. Here's your first question. The Federation does not permit the use of blank. Uh, would you say like... Um, is this is this uh, one word, not two? The Federation it's does not word. permit it's, the it use is one of... Word. Cigarettes. The Federation does not permit the use of not violence. Um, Condoms. The, no, um... the Federation, <laughs> Federation does not permit the use of biogenics. Um, oh, no, I guess uh, it would be biogenic weapons. Me too, Arabic. Me too. The use of um, of um, Oh, I hated the countdown round. It was horrible. <laughs> The um, Federation does not permit the use of torture. Um, torture. Mines. Mines. Vibrators. Oh, from like shockwave. Um. Not shock. No. The it may have mine. been. Um, It may have been um, it might have been from discovery. Oh, well, that um, 
I've only ever seen each one of those ones. Um, they, um, they were saying, I know Jellico used antimatter mines, but, um, Dagum, what episode was that? Simon Higgins. It may have been on DS9, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that, Simon. Um, the Federation. The, um, I'm thinking. I think it was in Star Trek Discovery. Because something to do with mines. Space mines? I, I'm unaware of this discovery. Season five yeah. streaming now. Oh, Star Trek Discovery. It's uh it's the late it's one of the late, one of the newer shows. I was um, kind of thinking it might be torture to Vark in critical care, but um, don't, don't don't know what you're referring to, Conti. I could be way off there. When Neelix was trying um, to get from that thief who took the doctor's autonomous mobile emitter or whatever, and um, he gave he gave him some soup with that was laced with uh, something unpleasant. Laxatives. Yeah. <laughs> the soup he just eaten, Captain. It's so centipods or something. And all the bathrooms are out of yeah. order. Um, Eric, I about fell asleep I during episode two. I haven't I seen think it yet. It was mines. Um, and I think it was said by Burnham, but I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what, um, this could be so many episode. things. Because I'm not really, I don't watch it that much. Um, I will say this is a difficult one. I made sure that it wasn't used more than once. Yeah, so did I, Eric. You're not going to let me live that down, are you? I wasn't allowed them. <laughs> the final two questions, I, I wasn't allowed them. I had to change them. Because well, both of them... Federation does not permit the use of pixelated images. <laughs> because both of my final yeah. questions were, I'm a doctor, not specialist. a blank. I wish we had the uh, boggle round back. This is hard. Um, what final round do you wish we had back? Yeah, the boggle no. round where uh, we do the letters. Oh, Countdown oh, round. No. Yeah, no. Countdown round. If we go back to that. Well. Well. I was I so it was challenging. Remember, um, final front ears you can steal. Uh, it could be anything. Go with, um, like it, it could be tricobot, tricobot devices, like in uh, Insurrection. It could be or uh, torture, like they said. It could be uh, mines. There's so many things that this could be. So yeah, many things. Yeah. For another one. Mm. So this is one I'm word, though. Just, we're, we're, it is one, one word. word. It yeah. is yeah. one word. I think word. it was the second season of Discovery. And I think it was either, um, what's her name, Burnham or um, Pike. Michael Burn Burnham. Michael Burnham. Hey, Lex. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm sorry it's taken so long, guy. Um, I am going to have to push it. Yeah. yeah. So she's pushy. getting pushy. She's getting pushy. I'm going to say it is um, season two, little episode little nine, little Project Daedalus. And it was um, the Federation does not permit the use of mines. And the person that said it was um, I'm wondering if it was the engineer. Hammer? 
no uh, discovery. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, who is the engineer on discovery? Stamets? Well, he's the science guy. I don't Stamets. know who the engineer is. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, no. Bill, I'm gonna Bill Nye is not the engineer. Oh, the wasn't it, um, wasn't it uh, Cornwell? Oh, okay. I liked her. I liked that actress. Cornwell and Mines and Project Daedalus. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay, well, I can confirm two of those, right? Yeah. It is mine. Okay. I thought it was Cornwell. So, the final frontiers, you have a chance to get a bonus point. Who said it? And why? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was why? in the script, that's why. <laughs> Mike, Mikey Spock, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking yeah. that. I don't know. I yeah, don't remember that episode. Mike, she says everything now. Yeah. <laughs> Spock, Spock, Spock or Burnham, what'd you get for then? Or someone else? Oh, it could be of Saru, them. I suppose. The Federation is mm. Yeah, now we're throwing Michael Burnham. It's not our question anyway. Maybe we don't really care. We're just throwing Michael Burnham out of it. Yeah, that's fine. Burnham? Yep. Final. Yeah. Final. Sorry to say, it's not Burnham. Saru. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, however, one of my favorite episodes from Discovery. It's one of the, that is actually one of the good ones from season I thought it was Cornwell. Daedalus. What happened in that episode? Start from the beginning. We haven't uh, got the time. Look, a lot of people the, said uh, emotional things and people cried. <laughs> There's a lot of crying in Discovery. And Miriam is oh, taking over totally. control. It was, actually a good, it was actually a good episode. She actually, <laughs> uh, that, that's the episode where Michael um, they, they had uh, Sneaker Martin Green do the Kirk flying kick from in the Inspector on the Gun. Spectrum. They were in Info Trading right. Section 31 headquarters. So it was a nice little callback there. I it's the episode it where I was going to say, it's the episode where, you know, torpedoes are going to hit us in two seconds. But before then, can you step into my office, please, so we can have a heart to heart chat for 20 minutes? And then That's every episode of Discovery. I know. I know. Wasn't well, that the one that they. Um... I was sure it was Admiral Cornwell that said that. Um, Cornwell um, is in the room when they're saying it, but yeah. she doesn't say it. Anyway. We just, we just have to let that go. Anyway. They were, it was the uh, episode where they went in time travel or something? No. Anyway. No, that's a, that's a different episode. So we're moving on now to oh, the final okay. frontiers. Here's your question. Mm -hmm. No, someone else. Blank, I ordered you to. Hey, who the hell are you? Bananas. So, we've already put one guess out. Can't use your torpedo. Anyway. <laughs> That's no. not how this works. No, 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 guess. no. We made a guess, right? It might be not right, but it's a guess. It's not the final answer, though. So. Oh, right. No, it's not how. Like... It... Of course it it's is. It's not how it works. No, We're it doesn't. by the spirit, not the letter of the law. All right. Ensign, I ordered you to... Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, okay, so this is definitely new Star Trek. Mm. Obviously. Um, hey, are you? So I'm going to say, this sounds, to my, this sounds like Tilly. Hello. Um, she... Okay. Old Trek, new Trek. This sounds Takes like... Slight less filling Trek. I don't know. <laughs> So this is Tilly. Uh, but she's a cadet. So she On far, you do have your torpedoes. No, we've already started guessing. You can't use a torpedo. Yeah, no, they did say it sounded like Tilly. That was a genuine guess. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think we need to. I, I, <laughs> I think this. I think these rules are going to need to be uh, tweaked. <laughs> Because <laughs> we can say yeah, anything, yeah. right? We can say George Forge, and yeah, it's a, yeah. just a little bit. <laughs> Look, it's early days. Yeah, no, we'll we'll get there. Let's fly. It's Ugh. been a long. Uh, I'm gonna okay. be ill. Uh, I reckon uh, I'm gonna be ill. I reckon this is Jet Reno. Ensign, I ordered. Uh, Ensign, I ordered you to. Hey, who the hell are you? 
And this is the scene where he says, my name is Gene. And he says, well, get out of here, Gene, or something like that. Um, yeah, Jet Reno, Ensign, I ordered you to, hey, who the hell are you? Um, okay, so it's Ensign, Jet Reno. I don't know the episode, however. Any guesses? Yeah. No, no, you're you're doing you get much farther than I could with this one if it's new track, which it sounds like it is. Oh. Fuck. Don't think um, that's one of the episode titles. No, it's the not. Whole new track, don't you I ordered dare you to close your hey, who the hell are you? Mm-hmm. You sure it's not Picard or something or No. Okay. You wouldn't say hey. Who the hell are you? Um, even in the new show, he did, wouldn't say that. This is Jet Reno. This is definitely Discovery. This is Jet Reno. Okay. Uh, okay. And he seems. And she would say something like that. that. Yeah. She would. I've heard her tell you, but this sound. But Tilly's also a cadet. So yeah. Um, yeah. Jet Reno. Uh, Ensign is the missing words, and the episode. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the name of the episodes. I don't remember them. <laughs> Cadet or not, weren't they going to make her first officer at one point? I mean, gee whiz. Ugh. Captain Killy. They Do did it. make a first officer one. <laughs> she was first officer, like, a couple of episodes. And everybody were like, yeah. do it. Do it. Like, because she had to ask every single person, should I do it? Should I not? And they're like, do it. Do it. Do it. We're saying do it. It was, yeah. It, oh. I oh, hate sorry, it when but... characters get promoted or, or it remind me of a show called Boston Public where Jerry Ryan guest starred. She huh. wasn't even a teacher. They made her a teacher. Two episodes later, they made her assistant principal. And I mean, just the lady. I mean, every other teacher had a grievance. They could have gone to their union so hard. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. I get a bit <laughs> carried away on that. If they'd made Tilly whatever she was, first officer, I would have gone to Starfleet Union and just said, like, look, <laughs> I'm, this is a grievance. Yeah, so I we, want, we, I we like the ensign, but she's an ensign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it any worse than Star Trek 2009 and Kirk? All right, we'll that say... Was ridiculous. Ugh, okay, that ridiculous. That was so completely it, ridiculous. Um... What do you think, Connie? The, the missing word oh, is Edson. He went to stop it. It, it, right, the missing word is Edson, Jet Reno, and an O ball for Sharon. <laughs> okay. So, is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> so to say, none of win. those are correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, play moves Anyone? to Pon Far Enough. Would you like to have a guess? I've been trying to think of what it is. Um, um, I think it's Tilly. Tilly, I Tilly. ordered you to? I think, or? No, I think Tilly is saying it. Okay. And I'm trying to remember what she said. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the, um, oh, what do you call it? The second, maybe the second or third season. The one with Spock in it. Hmm. Could we have a hint? Well, you it, and your hints, man. Honestly. A hint on a bonus. Oh. I don't know oh, is about this a bonus? Oh, is this a bonus? Oh, yeah, it's oh, a bonus I'm for sorry. you. you. I'm sorry. We're making got a chance to... We go along. Okay. Um, so um, be all over again. Um, oh. Yeah, I I don't know if this is new Trek. I'm I I've only ever seen. I mean, you guys yeah, are really inspiring to, me to it's watch. It's hard to Trek. remember a uh, new Trek, especially if it's Daggum Discovery. 
Um, Daggum. I don't know. So, there's some new track that I've watched more than once. Well, yeah, I do like uh, Strange New Worlds. I do enjoy Strange New Worlds. Oh, Strange New Worlds is fantastic. Coming back for season three and season four. I know. And I love how they've really kept canon like at the forefront of the of the of their rich tapestry of storytelling. Yeah. <laughs> You're just sure. doing this to see which color of the professor's gonna at go. Least they <laughs> explain, at least they explain the change as well. Um <laughs> at least they brought back the cling. No, the they have not. They brought back the Klingons the way they're supposed to be. TNG Klingons are back. Yeah. 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 I have to um, the Gorn. Oh my God! The hope is oh, you God. part two. Tilly. So Tilly's giving orders. I don't know if it's Tilly saying it or they're saying it to Tilly. Well, why not? Well, I'm not going to spoil it. Sorry. Maybe Zoe hasn't it seen sounds, it. It sounds like something Zoe Jet hasn't seen it. Say. Uh, the latest uh, episodes. Uh, the latest season of Discovery started while I was away in, on holiday. And here's the thing. If you're in Italy, you can subscribe to Paramount Plus via Absolutely. Amazon. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you can't watch Paramount Plus via Amazon. <laughs> you can't see it. Yeah, that you're makes complete plus. sense. Yeah. So I haven't had a minute to see it yet. You do know you can actually change when you move when you go to another country. You can actually change the region on your account, but you have to go to actual Amazon to do it. Um, it said to me some of these episodes, some of the shows may not be available while you're um, away. I'm thinking like nothing on Paramount was available. Probably because they haven't been translated. Probably, probably yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I was wondering I'm if this is to... Stamet saying, Tilly, I ordered you to, hey, who the hell are you? And then it's actually Janet Reno walking in, in high heels and a ball gown. Um... Maybe not so much the last bit, but. So which episode in your dreams was this? <laughs> <laughs> Take me out to the burn. It's the one where Michael Burnham comes in there. In a leather mummy outfit with a whip and starts giving mm -hmm. Booker what for. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh dear. They call me Captain Whiplash. <laughs> Captain Whiplash. <laughs> okay, um, Jay, if you don't have any thoughts, I'm just going to throw some stuff in, at the wall and see what sticks. I'm going to say it's season two, verse 13. Um, of Star Trek Discovery. Season 2, verse 13? I think you're getting a bit biblical. Uh, okay. <laughs> season, uh, I think it's season 2, <laughs> okay. episode 13. But do you know and what it's, it's called? called I um, something about Sweet Sorrow. Um, such and Sweet you... Sorrow, something like that. Okay. Um, I don't know who she's saying it to, but I think sweet it's still sour sauce. Is that what you said? Sweet, such sweet sorrow. Sweet, sour sauce. Right, I'm gonna have to push you guys. Um, what's, what's the answer? And Tilly saying it, but I don't know what she says. Um. Well, it, we could just say cadet, because who else could she order cadet. around? Yeah. Who could she order around? Okay. I was oh, thinking. she thinks she can order anybody around. Unless she's talking to that imaginary person. But she wouldn't order the, with that princess yeah, or whatever? Yeah, she wouldn't need, order need to that. Push it for an answer. Uh, this is an extra. Cadet, I order you to, hey, who the hell are you, said by Tilly. Episode such sweet sorrow. I have a okay. feeling none of those are correct, but let's let's just maybe maybe is that your final answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry to say none of them are correct. Let's Crack. see what the actual answers are. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh lower decks, of course. Yeah. Oh, Doritos. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, Doritos, I'd, right? I'd, I'd even have less. I haven't even seen all of those ones. Cool Ranch. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I lost that. What oh, series my. is that from? That is um, from Lower Decks. Lower Decks, yeah. What, no, Doritos. no, but what series of it? I think it's season three. Oh, okay. Star Trek Lower Decks season three, I think. Mm. Oh, the squirrel has got so little hair on it now. I think it's <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I think uh, I think Captain Dowd is sending a code to someone. So no, no, that, it's, it's an actual squirrel outside my window, and it's missing a lot of hair of fur, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now we're over to Ponfar. Maybe and it's in Ponfar. Actual question. So let's Funny. see how this goes. Hey Siri, can squirrels get the mean? He said, "There's always that blank." I can't even and see it yet. Bones at all. Okay. Okay, he said there's always that blank, and that's not like bones at all. He said there's always that blank, and that's not like bones at all. Now, could that be animated? They, oh, I hate animated. Um, not the only one. The animated series is good. It it's is good. All episodes, it's it's it's. it's it's yeah. The it's, only one I like tough. is yesteryear. It's on Paramount Plus. Subscribe now. All episodes. No, we did, did they, did they that record one. that in studio? I heard a rumor that like they were sent, like they had to record it at home, and send in the tapes or something because they really don't sound like they're talking to each other. They just really sound like they're talking <laughs> at home into a script from a script. The first or something. few episodes were Probably recorded right. in studio, and then after that, they were just basically recording stuff at home and send it in. Uh, okay, I I, wow. I wondered about that because um, it it I think it I think it shows I I think you can sort of tell and oh, yeah, the, the, shows. the dialogue is so I, monotone like um it's a good one to fall asleep to yes yes very true I like the stories but it is a very soothing it's like Jeopardy like I can just be carried away on the carpet of John's voice filtered through his luxurious beard. Last night's um, episode was excellent. Serious beard. Someone's got a man crush. <laughs> Not to be ashamed about. Um, uh, he said there's instead, only... there's always that blank, and that's not like bums at all. He said there's always that. Well, it would have huh? to be some. I don't know if it's like something complimentary to to Spock or. And that's not like bone. Like I'm trying to think what would be unlike bones. Um, he said, "There's always that." And I'm thinking Would it's Kirk because Kirk, Kirk is the only one Kirk who really would say that, that. I, I think Kirk know, was the only, only called him bones once. Um, I think it's Kirk. Um. So we agree. Um, he said there's always that. That's what gets me is, is the blank. Um, <sighs> um, has to be Kirk. He's the only one that ever calls. Um, and I'm thinking this has to be TOS or TAS. I don't think it's the the reboot. Mm -mm. It has to be TAS because I don't I don't remember this quote from TOS at all. Yeah, if they sense. do, they are geniuses. He said, "There's always that." I want to say like something, but no. He said, "There's always that blank," and that's not like bones at all. Is he in trouble or something? Um. The animated series is canon. No, it's it not. It is. Even Jen, Gene Roddenberry said it wasn't. Yeah, well, now it is. 
let's not get sidetracked. Said there's Let's always that. God, what is this thing? Um, Possibility, chance, there's always that. Um, I gave you the oh, answer what? in chat. Come on. What? what? You <laughs> better not have. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I mean, so, guys, we're gonna have to. You said there's always that chance. No, that. I'm gonna say there's always that possibility. James T. Kirk. Um, Come on, like I gave those. you the answer. That's from the TV show Bones. Come on, hush your mouth. Possibility? Um, hey, now. You watch it. <laughs> You're a rock star. I'm just trying to talk like a Texan. Keep trying. Don, yeah, is that Don what that Tootin. was? <laughs> <laughs> There's always that. Well, okay. Oh. Possibility, Kirk. I don't know the, I don't know the name of the episode. There's one where McCoy's dying, or so, or no, uh, is oh. is he ever impersonated by anyone, or insane, or? Um, he said there's always that blank, and that's not I thought so. Was it the episode where he's uh, t um, replaced by that squid kind of like creature that's impersonating people? Squid. Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> Squidly diddly. Anyone else remember Squidly diddly? diddly. You don't mean Manhunt, do you? No, uh, like, the like, animated like, series okay. where oh, he, sure. they find this uh, rich person, but he's actually oh, a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because his wife had to shoot him or whatever. <laughs> oh, his girlfriend had to shoot him. <laughs> uh, Carter Winston. Carter Winston. Uh, the... He's well, actually what's... some kind of alien. Uh, it's the survivor. Okay, so survivor, Kirk, and Kirk. There's, there's always, always that, that possibility and possibility. Yep. Yeah. I know it's wrong, but are those your final answers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well. Let's see what if you're right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Holy god. He worked yeah. it out. He worked it out. Yeah. Oh my wow. God. That happens more than I can credit, but wow. I know. I do. I was hey, just pulling it out of the, the sky. Blew my mind. Hey, Patrick. I remembered something from TAS. Ma mark that down in history. <laughs> oh, it's Patrick, a good so show. Long I it's like not it. canon. Anyway. It is canon. Yes, it I'll is. Fight. I'll no, fight it you for it. It's not. Fight you. Come on. If Discovery is canon, if Strange New Worlds is canon, then this is canon. Yeah, it's phaser canon. <laughs> So is the it? final frontiers. Can I Let's see what you've thing? got. An ulcer, probably. <laughs> For waiting. Oh That's no! Me. I just bought a blank. Phases, phases. Can we do that? No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bananas! Yeah. Bananas! A suit. We put a suit. I bought a suit. That's Corpidos. it. Corpidos. I'm sorry. I'm late, sorry. They did. They did shout. They 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 called. They called for the for the torpedoes. That's crazy. This is crazy. This is nuts. We just have to blurt out any, any uh, nonsense you know answer. It. That suits me. I just bought a boat. Scotty. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, the movie, that suits the movie, me. I just uh, bought a boat. Scotty and the Undiscovered uh, Country. Uh, Star Trek 6. Yeah. Star Trek 6, the Undiscovered Country. Scotty and I just bought a boat. Yeah. That's is your that your final answer? Remain that with your own questions. Yes. About six hours. <laughs> okay, let's see if you're correct on this nicked question. 
This is crazy. Well we done. just have to blurt out any nonsense when a question's read. That's the only way you stop that. Crazy. Well, well we can't do it again, so. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Well, no, no, I shouted out a guess, but that, no, that doesn't count. Cause right, you said bananas, day. and that, that was all. Oh, it doesn't count. That, that's that, not the spirit of the law. I, right. I am sorry, guys, but they, but Captain Dowd actually fired before you shouted bananas. No, he he shot he, he shot his phases phases like well, six times until he eventually well, got it right. Those, those, right, right oh oh man. So, so <laughs> next I, question I don't like this goes role. back to final frontiers. I do think we have to work on it a bit, but. <laughs> Final Frontiers. I've had this blank with half a dozen people. It always ends up the same way. Right. I've had this conversation. Conversation. Uh, right. Yeast infection. Uh, no. People. <laughs> uh, I've had this rest with half a dozen people. STI. <laughs> I've had this rest with half a dozen people. It always ends up the same way. Not your question. Kirk. <laughs> Kirk and Riker and <laughs> every episode of Star Trek. <laughs> I can see that actually. I've had this rash with half a dozen people. Kirk <laughs> and the episode is a night in sick bay. <laughs> and the show is officially off the rails. <laughs> They the actually room. had this in a uh, oh, video. I'm blind. I'm blind. I can't see. They actually had this in a video <laughs> where uh, I think it was a robot chicken where Kirk got oh, uh, um, an I STD. Put on glasses. Right. Omni. Yes. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to reason it, but there's a lot of noise coming through. I've had this conversation with half a dozen people. It always ends up the same way. Um, I think it's. It sounds like Julian Bashir. It could be, it could be something like that. Yeah. Those people always oh, the same way. I'm also thinking DS9 for some reason. I just don't know. Yeah, I know. That's why I was thinking Julian Bashir. Right, and I, I'm getting that vibe from it, but I don't know why. People, How do you know it's way? not new? Tech oh, maybe still. it's... Uh, hold on. Maybe it's Esri? No? Mm, How did Scotty buy a boat if they didn't have money? Yeah. Well, they had credits. Federation mm. credits. Oh, boy. And then people always end up the same way. That's a deep dive discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because remember in the um, the Trouble with Tribbles, they said credits. You've, you've got to remember that the economics of the future are somewhat different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sold the book for no money. I guess uh, people in your century don't have money. Well, we don't. And he's got a pocket full of American dollars. <laughs> what does it mean, exact change? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred bucks. Is that a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Captain Kirk and them had some uh, money in their pockets when they came back to the 24th century. It's a collector mm -hmm. item. It's definitely conversation. We can we can say that right off the rip. The mm -hmm. question is who. You're saying Bashir. I was thinking Esri. And I guess you have to name the episode. Oh, we get that chance to be filled if they don't get it, right? Did, Ed, did Ezri even know six people? Uh -huh. She was so new. I was just thinking because uh, she made that comment, oh, you have Jadzia as this, or you have something like that. Like they were they were trying to see Jadzia in her, but I don't remember the episode. I'm, I'm really reaching because I don't... This line is not hitting me. Mm. 
Well, I agree. I definitely think it's convers. Oh, this isn't me. Well, you can help though. Please continue. It's good. No, that's... <laughs> What's wrong? I can see Esri saying this too, to be honest. But I just can't place it. It's not. It's not coming to me. <laughs> I've had this conversation with half a dozen people before, Esri. It always ends up the same way. No, you cannot borrow my family's beach house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Conti? I'm thinking. Yep. Conti's in the mind palace. <laughs> oh, we, we need to be able to see that. There it is. And Admiral Brains <laughs> is trying to look cool. Mm. I'm blind. No, no, I, I can't see. I can't. I can't see anything. Oh, wait a minute! I have my eclipse glasses on. That'll do it. So, I didn't get uh, to see the eclipse. I did. We don't. We don't get to see much in the UK because it's full of bloody clouds. Clouds, yeah. No, it was completely no. overcast here and all. It was supposed to be overcast here, but the clouds cleared up. The storm is over now. You see, here's the thing. With Conti, we can't tell whether they're in the mind palace or asleep. <laughs> 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 or looking Gonna down. Going to have to push it, guys. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. But I was very confident that someone would Wait take a minute. They get like six hours and you're pushing us for an answer. I know. I, that's why I said we that before. We are at two it's and a good. half hours here, guys. Yeah, well, we didn't let. We're not the ones who made it. We answered our questions usually quickly. Quite quickly. Um, yeah, but we take a long time, but we still get it wrong. That's the big on, difference. Come on, come on, come wow. on, come on. Wow, this is crazy. I've had this. Do, do, do you want a hint? Sure. Yeah, sure. We can use a little help. So, so two of the three answers we've heard already in this very show. That helps a lot. Yeah. From the beginning of the show or in this most recent conversation? Mm, no, the last from couple of rounds. The... Yeah. Oh, okay. I've definitely I've had this possibility with half a dozen people. It always ends up the same way. Meaning it's not Ezri or Vashir. That's what he's trying to say. It's probably somebody else who was somebody else. I'll be back in a moment, guys. I can smell fire. Oh. Okay. Jan? That's not can cool. Fire? I can. Yes, John. Oh. It, it is Mr. Mott. You, you got it right. Mr. Mott confirmed. <laughs> I have to... I've had this haircut with half a dozen people. It always ends up the same. <laughs> Mr. Mott. Well, she dip. I'd rather see a spin-off series with Mr. Mott than what they got planned on Discover on uh, uh What is it? Starfleet Academy and <laughs> well, Section 31. <laughs> Mr. Mott giving, giving hair cutting lessons. I'd rather watch I that. I do remember they wanted to do a Starfleet Academy show just after Enterprise, just as Enterprise was ending. They wanted yeah. to do it then, but then they cancelled it. For yeah, good as reason. soon as I think of it, all of a sudden, magically, someone else has thought of it. Yeah. Uh, I, to be honest, I, I don't think that it's going to work well. Uh, I don't think it's going to work well if it's going to be done in the same style as Discovery and Tilly's like, head teacher or whatever. I think it's, yeah. it's I, everything. I, that I will not like. But if if they go back to more of a well, if they use my ideas, basically it'll be fine. Well, no, even if, even <laughs> even if even if it was Rick Berman, ever, it's just not going to work. Um, everything okay, Zoe? Yeah, it turns out that Jen's put the stove on. That's <laughs> oh. that's what I can smell. Maybe a little too hot. Maybe she's she she burning the, water again. Yeah. yeah. Gas Mark Eleven. <laughs> I've got fucking no idea. Um, no, I would just, yeah. It's conversation for sure. I don't even know if we have the right series. They're saying it's the same answer as was given before. It doesn't really help me that much. It, I mean, it may not be DS9 either. It could, it could be Next Generation. It could be Voyager. It could be Enterprise. I don't think it's new stuff. 
I think it's something to do with talking about the past or talking about something, but I don't. It's not coming to me. You might as well have a guess. Yeah, we just just put us out of our misery at this point. Come on, have, have a guess. I've had this conversation with half a dozen people. Um, I have no clue. This is fucking shite. This is a good uh, this, is be, this is supposed to be their question, isn't it? Um, yeah, I know, I know, but you know, welcome you Thomas Potts. You can always fire for torpedoes on the next round, on the next question. Give it a try. Give it a try. Come on. Okay, I've had this conversation with half a dozen people. Always ends up the same way. Julian Bashir. Name me. Name me a DS9 episode. Any DS9, I don't care. When it rains. When it rains. Maybe. There's your answers? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's you've got one right. Board. All right. It's raining board. It's raining board. That's right. That's right. So, pun far enough. For two bonus points, can you tell me who said this and in what episode? <laughs> John's answer. I've had this conversation with half a dozen people. It always ends up the same way. <laughs> um, I don't know the episode. See you, I, Gordon. Thanks care, for sticking it for this long. Thank you for coming. Take care, Gordon. Thanks for coming along. Thanks, uh, Gordon. Take care. Goodbye, everybody. Um, Let me know how it turns out tomorrow. Yeah. We're almost done. I've had this conversation. I don't know that, so, but let's say I had this conversation with a half a dozen people. And it always ends up the same way. I've had this conversation with half a dozen people. It feels like a trill thing, but again. Or maybe it's one of those where they are living the same day. Oh, Groundhog Day. No. Um, no. The one where they find uh, meet up with the um, Bozeman. Beverly Crusher. I've had this conversation with a half a dozen people and always ends up the same way. That's my guess. Say, sorry, say it again. Beverly Crusher, conversation, and what was the... Uh, the one with Bozeman, I can't remember the episode. Uh, the one with Bozeman? Oh, oh. Uh, Where they blow up and go back, blow up and go back. No, I don't, I don't think this is from that. No? No. I am going to have to push you guys because this is a bonus. And you yeah. said you've heard all of these answers today. Yes. Yeah, the two oh. answers that we need. I'm going to say Esri because we had to figure out where she was from, but that wasn't an answer to a question, though. That was a question in itself. Anyway, Esri and... Um, oh, what was that episode where she went home and Miles found that floating lady? Um, the one with the floating lady. <laughs> I can't remember, so um, I'm going to say, actually, no, maybe not Ezri. No, but nobody said Jadzia, though. Jadzia has not come up today. Okay, Ezri and I don't know about the episode. Um, floating Lady Blues. <laughs> okay, is that your final answer? Okay, I'm sorry to say neither of those are correct. I knew it. It's Daniel's. In oh, 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 man. Very, what? very clever. Yeah. Someone loves their <laughs> enterprise. I know. I know. <laughs> I, don't. I told you it had to be uh, New Trek because I think Enterprise is New Trek. New Trek. That's no. I'm sorry, guys. These last two questions were uh, redone this morning. Because I wasn't allowed to have. I'm a doctor, not a Daniel blank. From for the final two than this. Yeah. I mean, what there's was, no context. You, you, what was the? What was the? It was hilarious. There'd be thirty answers. It was hilarious. 
<laughs> and both teams would have got one of them. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, right, let's get on with it. Two more questions. Nope, there's just one more question. Two more. Yep, one more. One more. Here we All go. Right. Upon far enough. This is oh God, our our question. Deep dip. Final frontiers. Remember, you do have your torpedoes. <laughs> I did it. I updated the blank. I did it. I updated my skirt. <laughs> okay. No, this. <laughs> So we can't fire oh, torpedoes yeah, now, yeah, right? Because he said that? Okay, got it. Yeah. No, you uh, can. That you, can real. you can that fire one. torpedoes now. Oh, okay. yep. you, you, can. The, you can. Updated the uh, computer, the... Um, Data banks? The I did it. I updated the... I did this it. Is one, this is one word, just to confirm. Mm -hmm. Just one Any, word? Any hints on offer, as this is not a rebound or whatever you call it, a bonus? This is yeah. a new track question. Oh, bugger tits. Oh, God. God. Have fun. Yeah. I did it. I updated the... I updated the... <laughs> Adobe, says James. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Potts is saying, fools! James I F did it. I updated the very fools. Clever. I think he's calling the players fools. I updated the the um I'm gonna say it's discovery. I updated the discovery. No. No, I updated the subroutines or the spore drive. Um I bet it's the lower decks. I did it. I updated the replicator, the the tricorder, whatever. Uh, I don't think the whatever is an actual device. It'd be interesting to update. One. Star Trek lower decks or discovery. Oh, I wonder if this is because I did it. It sounds like. I'm wondering if it's rock talk. There was that one where she was like in a slower time zone and she spent a lot of time on her own and she had to up, like she had to do a lot of like scientific stuff and engineering stuff, but I don't know what that episode is. Can we still uh, fire torpedoes? No, cause we're talking. We're discussing yeah, talking, it. But not talking, not guessing. We are guessing. I, I did it. I updated the subroutine. I, 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 I think the person that said it is um, what's his name? The engineer in Discovery. Damn it. I did it. I updated. You said one word, so spore drive is not one word. She's smiling, so it's wrong. It's not discovery. It's not stamp it. It's no, um, Joey just has resting joy face. What's um, the score? You're winning. It's not twenty-eight to nineteen. You're winning. This so question's not that they're critical. Not gonna, yeah, it's, right. They're not gonna win if they get this right, right? Correct. Correct. Oh. Yeah. It's impossible. Let's, let's pass it to them. Shoot. I don't know. Well, I want to say Rock Talk or whatever, the, the Brickar girl. The Brickar from yes. uh, Star Trek. Um, Pro Prodigy. Prodigy, yeah. Prodigy. Yeah. But I don't, know, still I, I don't know. the I don't know the episode's names, um, but. Rock uh, Talk. Maybe like Time After I Talk. I did so it. I updated the. the I updated the. Shields. Shield? I updated the shields. I updated the shields. I forget what she was meant. <laughs> John. <laughs> I forget what she was meant to do. Oh, what did John have to say? He said, John, "From the episode between a rock talk and a hard and a hard voice." John DeMarco must be a dad because he's good at Star Trek dad jokes. Hmm. Omni is. Um, He's great at Star Trek 
Trivia. I like my answer. <laughs> um, I did an update of the Shields, Rock Talk, and we don't know the episode. I'm wondering if it's weapons. I, I, I forget what they were all. They I updated the weapons. I updated that sounds the good. Um, I, updated that. I updated the downflow. We can move side to side. Database. I, ups, uh, mm. the, I updated the shields might be. Oh my hologram. No, it's one word. Um, I updated the. I updated the. The weapons. The shields. Systems, maybe even all of that. Uh, let's just plump for one. I updated the shields and uh, rock talk, and I don't know, something to do with um, uh, time after time. I don't know, that's more of a Cindy. She's smiling, so we got it wrong. So, anyway, is that your final answer? Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm sorry to say none of those are correct, so... I knew it. You're smiling. <laughs> That's the giveaway. <laughs> so the final frontiers, you get to uh, attempt for three bonus points. Mm. They're going to win, aren't they? Damn it. Yeah. Okay, I did it. I updated the transporter. That's Rutherford. Uh, the name uh -huh. of the episode... It's the one where I don't know if you remember it, Omnicast. It's the one where Boimler is out of phase. Do you remember that episode? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't remember that? Yeah, yeah, I can Sounds see him doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the name of the episode? Oh, God. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm not a lower decks aficionado, unfortunately. No, I'm not either. <laughs> I mean, I do enjoy it, but it, I don't remember the episode names. Yeah. Well, at least um, they're, they're so and watch, them. watch, see doubt. Some of these questions will be in Jeopardy next week. <laughs> there is no new trick in Jeopardy, thank goodness. Oh, really? That's good. Maybe yes. I will play it someday. We've been inviting yeah. you forever. No, you guys are great. You've really inspired me to start watching Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> It's definitely up there on my TV. So this whole time you've been faking it? <laughs> yep. Fake it till you make it. Well, that was... The worst part is that sometimes he'd beat me on it. <laughs> oh, dear. Go These on. last couple of questions, about four questions, were hard. I'm going to have to push you guys. We are near the end Hold of the on. show now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You were complaining earlier how long it was taking. Now you go, well, hold on, hold on. I released one a few minutes. Jesus Christ, you give us like 60 seconds. We can go till yeah, three hours. Yeah. Yeah. We need to put a timer. This is bonus. It's not minutes. your question. We're going to go back and watch this. The times are definitely off. <laughs> okay, I did it. I update the transporter. Rutherford. Transport. I don't know the name of it, though, but it's Transport and Rutherford. Sounds good to me. Okay. Do you want to guess a, an episode? <laughs> I can't remember the names for the life of me. Just go for those two. I don't care about Yeah, them. Trouble with Tribbles, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that one. Trouble with Tribbles. Uh, I'm sorry to say all of those are wrong as well. <laughs> really? Dang yeah. it. That sounded good. I did it. I, I updated, updated the, the dog. dog. Oh. <laughs> it's the same episode. Yeah. Much ado yeah, about it's the same episode. episode. It, it is the same it's episode. The episode. I updated no! the dog. What dog? Oh, 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 oh. She, this is the this is the side plot where she creates a perfectly normal dog. And they go back to the, they go down to the same planet because the dog. I don't even remember that part. The dog turns into a cube. It's brilliant. Oh, oh dang! Jesus. Uh, I feel the like best I'm... part is some of the. Uh, dialogue that Tendi says in that particular sequence is from her uh, the the voice actress's uh, mm. casting call. She she oh. did the the techno babble so well they just kept it and put it in the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well anyway, well done to the team. Bravo. That Good was job, a guys. I genuinely thought I made it. Man? 
three I hours. genuinely thought I'd made it reasonably uh, simple because I was doing it at the last minute. But, wow. This is simple? We all I can't wait to see this. what you think is hard. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> like, that that's the problem with uh, trying to balance stuff. If I know the answers, then I think it's simple. Think and if you guys don't know the answers... You did good. Hard. Which Zoe I, always does very well. Don't you worry, Zoe. Zoe. That suits me. Boat. I just bought a boat. So. It's a good job <laughs> I'm not working this week, isn't it? I'm taking a week off. Thank, but, thank yeah. you, Zoe, for doing a great job today. You did awesome. Our yeah. yeah, good job, well Zoe. As well. Thank you. Thank you to well, all of you in the chat. Well earned win. Well, anyway. we'll have to work on our strategy a little bit. Uh, <laughs> good job, strategy. teammate. <laughs> yeah, the strategy is we have to pay off. All right, wow. good. I'm already paying him off for Jeopardy. Wait a minute. Are pay him on the show, too? <laughs> what about Thomas Thomas Potts says, Nice uh, to see a legitimate win, says Thomas Potts. Oh, it's my goodness. Win every week. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, this the guy? Ending, um, sarcasm. I like that. I'm sorry. So who, I'm, so I'm going to see a ship uh, destroy the teammate. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for that one, oh, okay? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you Hi, sir. Oh, yes. sir. Step on it. Step on it. <laughs> Sean Connery. Nice. I love that. That is cute. Even if it was for us, I think that is cute. <laughs> <laughs> All we can say for now is thank you so much for joining us, everyone. I hope you've had a great uh, day. Thank you so much to both of our team captains and to our special guests, Brother Jay and Omnicast. Thank you. And uh, to thank everyone you. at home, peace and long life. Live long and prosper. Good night. Live long and prosper. Bye. Remember Love to like, you. comment, Bye. and subscribe. Indeed.